Hey guys, it's Super Shrek here, and welcome back to uh, the second part, so turn 44, of my tech list. This is Total War campaign. Uh, yesterday went pretty well, but it was a bit of a mixed stream overall. Um, I had one battle in particular where tech list and my uh, my lawmaster both got well, both got killed. Um, the lawmaster irreversibly, and uh, tech list, yeah, he was just away for a few turns. Um, so. Yeah, I mean that that was a bit of a blow, and it could have it could have spelled a bit spelled doom, but we managed to get through it. We captured the awakening, um, which I'm pretty pleased about. And let's see what we're up to today. So yeah, we've still got a rebellion here, which is actually quite yeah quite a lot of depth guard in there. Um, we're fresh out of a battle against the lizards, so um, yeah, I think this is the end of a turn. So we're going to recover some over the end turn. Um, can she come in and out? Yeah. Okay. And he's gonna he's gonna heal anyway. So yeah, we're gonna have to go and fight that rebellion. Um, and then um, Luthor Ark. And I don't know what he's up to. And yeah, there's no construction to do right now. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's move on. So that this is turn 44. I'll be moving on to turn 45. <clears throat> so oh, a plague! No, a plague! Ah! For God's sake, Skaven. Yeah, plagues are probably one of the deadliest things. Well, they're, they're pretty bad for any campaign, but they're they're pretty deadly if I'm gonna if that you know they're coordinated in assault and like four or five armies all came for me at the same time, and my settlements or God forbid my armies. Yeah, Teclis has got the plague. Shit. If I transfer units. Do I transfer the plague over? Because otherwise we're just going to have to go for this really fast. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, she should probably be able to take this on her own. Um, Teclis could just stay back here and uh, recover from it. So how long has he got the plague for? Oh, does it even say? Why doesn't it even say? Blood swamps. Four turns. Okay, it's not it's not that bad. Um Right, can she force march up to you? Yeah, she can. And the Awakening does have a garrison, so um yeah, let's let's force march her up to here. Just to deal with this. Whoops, I can just get in the I don't know if she's gonna be if uh, she's gonna be close enough. No, I don't think <clears throat> I don't think she is. Oh no, she is. She is. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll have to fight this one. Um, at least I don't have missile troops. Um, my infantry will fare pretty well against their infantry. And uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's go for it. My prowess is needed. It's our favourite map as well. Oh, two Vargulfs. Yeah, that's a nice little undead army. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's it's the map that we always have. Um, okay, right, so we've got... Hang on, if I just look. Right, that's not impassable. Um, where is... Okay, yeah, so here... That space is, uh, yeah, like, so essentially we could use that to try and protect our flanks. I have played before up on this rise with my archers and my artillery and stuff, and that also works quite well. Um, yeah, let's maybe give that a shot. So the only danger is that the artillery kind of, there's obviously because they can't get closer than that, once things get too close, they become a bit redundant. Um, yeah, maybe it makes more sense to stay on the flat. Um, okay, I'll put them, I'll put them like here. Yeah, I'll put them here. Okay. Um, so we'll have our archers. Yeah, have our archers something like this. Archers. And then obviously, right, so we're going to need um, have a unit of Loth and Sea Guard here to sort of guard because stuff might come up around here. Um, we'll have a unit of Loth and Sea Guard for the same purpose on this side. And then the other three will sort of, yeah, just. Uh, one will try and block them coming through there. Love and 
And then we'll have... Oh, no, we'll have one there. Yeah, we'll have one there. Okay. And then my actual front line. I just hope that the front line actually does hold. Um, so, yeah, so something like this. Uh, this should do quite well. We've got a noble there as well. Uh, I can keep the silver helms in, uh, yeah, just in reserve to do whatever. Um, same with the eagle. eagle yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're okay. Um, however, my reinforcements coming in over there, which is kind of stupid, but yeah, okay, let's go for it. If they sent all their fast stuff over there, I would be absolutely fucked. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. However, we need to, yeah, we need to get in position quickly. Obviously, we need to deal with anything they send and then get the hell over there to help with the, the main fight. Um, she's got um, pendulum, has it? She, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Um, this is probably going to be the tougher fight. Yeah, okay, hang on. Put a unit of spears here. We've got this to protect our flank, actually. Um... Yeah, it's quite a lot of stuff coming over. Um, okay, you go there. And when something comes in... Okay, well the Vargolfs got murdered anyway. Um, okay, cool. Right, literally everything turned around. Spears here, come over there. These spears come here. That reduces speed. Um, yeah, put down a Melkoffs on them. Oh shit, they didn't get into position. Okay, well it's very nice of them to stand there while I am. However, I'm not going to be great. Oh no, they're trying to get into the back, so yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, right, come on now. It's it's all down to you. Let's try and use a pendulum. Um, don't know where it's going to do most effect. <clears throat> Damn, they practically moved out of that. Okay, fine. I think we'll be okay over there. There are some crypt balls coming over as well. Um, and what are we doing here? So, yeah, I didn't put them into shit. Magic's really bad. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to be okay over here. As you say, kill them. We could have even put down another... We'll put Malkovs on now. Right, so you two start shooting at them. And I think these three continue shooting at what they're shooting at right now. These guys won't hold very long. Um, she can come over here to uh, tank if needs be. Yeah, they're getting messed up. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, here we go. Right, they've sent more stuff. Right, okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay, we've got some Lock and Sea Guard here. I might have to get the Eagle to tank some stuff over here as well. Um, and I'm going to need some of these guys to turn around ready. Yeah, so yeah, come back. Right, okay, here. You focus on, yeah, Killer Vargulf. Get the Noble over here as well, because he's anti-large. The Eagle should do okay, yeah. Or maybe, yeah, I will just get the Eagle to go for, um, yeah, some of the Vargas. Okay, right, coming for a side charge there. I think we should be okay. Yeah, we're okay over here. Um, all right, fine. Yeah, get rid of those zombies, and then you need to come over here. So we're quite close to the edge of the map, so if all, go, if all this goes wrong, um, of course we're going to really struggle, because um, we're just going to run straight off. It's going okay so far, I think it's the Vargulfs that are possibly the biggest problem. Um, okay, turn around here a second, yeah, get rid of these. You shoot at the Vargais there, yeah, you keep on shooting there. 
Yeah, knights keep on shooting there. These guys shoot here. Um. Yeah, one unit of white line. Uh, one unit of um, sword masters got absolutely wrecked. All right, get over here. Get over here. As quick as your little legs can carry you. Because if we had, um, yeah, for the front line, like um, an overcast, uh, an overcast pendulum would be uh, amazing. He's holding his own in there. Get her to run through that. Might give a little bit of... Oh, I don't think it's going to, yeah. Nah, okay. Alright, fine. I think we're okay. Yeah, I, th I think that's army loss is okay, alright. Cool. A little bit stressful here. Yeah, cool, okay. Alright, yeah, it's dealt with. Yeah, front line actually traded very well. I think one unit of Swordmasters ended up breaking so quickly because um, it must have been because of the Var I, I'm, I, and the same with the White Lions because of the Vargulfs. Um, but they didn't really press their attack. They stayed on the front line instead of actually met running really far in to mess up my archers. Uh, so, yeah, not a bad battle. Take the cash. Yeah, just take the cash. Okay, fine. Well, that's as far as she can get. Um, right, so she's got Pendulum. I'm going to need her to get... Yeah, I think we'll need to get Bowmaster, and then we'll go down the blue line. Right, what to do with you, Techless? Um, I could... don't really know how it works. Like, I could put him on the water over here. Yeah, absolute shit. It's okay, alright, you know what, actually... Um, let's come over here. It's over in four turns. Right. Um, we may lose the Blood Swamps. Let's see. But let's go into Lily's Blessing. I'm just curious to see if there's actually a stance, if there's actually a bonus that we can get for it. Um, I know that he could spread the plague here, but let's just see how we go. Um, right, fine. Yeah, okay. So have we met anybody new? Nope. Okay, good. Right, let's go. To anyone's determined not to hate me and not to be at war, I feel bad. Uh, yeah, this could be more of a problem because Teclis isn't going to. Well, Teclis is uh, yeah going to be very depleted in terms of strength soon. But let's see. I mean, she can. The Awakening's got a good garrison. Imminent rebellion on the Vampire Coast. Right, she didn't contract the plague. Get her in the settlement, and she needs to... Not averse to getting even some Loth and Seaguard, but I think we'll just get... Yeah, we'll just go something like that. Three spears and uh, that many archers, that should be good. Oh, amazing, we can get um, sisters as well. So that's interesting, yeah, because we'll probably try and throw a few in here um, for, for the AP against things like Grave Guards. They do really well against Saurus Warriors, um, that kind of thing, okay. Oh, here we go. You are nothing. Okay. Shit. Right. Um. Yeah, we'll look at. Okay. Yeah, come. Could just come down here. We can beat this with um. With the garrison involved as well. Um, and if that gets upgraded, it's going to be even more helpful. Um, my heroes can just go in and out. The winds hearken to me. Ali. I have much to tell. Yeah, okay. Alright, fine. Yeah, we, we can we can do something about that next turn. Um right, let's have a look at mage recruitment. So our oh, handmaidens as well. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. It's got 124 influence. <sighs> These ones aren't very good, but I don't want to be yeah, I don't have time to hang around. 
Ward save and perfect vigor, that's actually quite good. Mind you, they're both really good. Yeah, physical resistance and unbreakable. However, unbreakable can be for a low level um, hero, can just mean that they end up dying after your whole army routes. Let's go for the vigorous handmaiden. Um, and let's have a look at uh, so mages. Oh, we've already got, yeah, we've only got the one. In fact, we could get an entrepreneur. Do I have a mage? Do I? That really stupid statement. Oh yeah, of course we do. It's the uh, it's it's her. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, no, we'll we'll hang on to her. We do want an entrepreneur, but um, yeah, go for regrowth. I mean, of course, I can heal my characters of the eagle in battle, like Teclis. Um So yeah, fine. Let's um. Hopefully, this will be the only big threat that we have to deal with. And yeah, let's uh, let's move on. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> well that ain't happening, so, um, yeah. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Influence plus 30 and public order problems. Uh, influence minus 7 and happy populace. I think I, it's not like I'm compromised and I can't deal with... Um, yeah, and I can't deal with rebellions right now. But I think, yeah, I think that might make more sense. Just for the time being. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. I'm going to let them... I think I'm going to keep Teclis here. Yeah, I'm going to keep Teclis here, um, and let's just see what they do. Because I don't know if these armies are going to be really aggressive and come straight over here. Oh man, no. Um, I mean, the other thing I can do is like recruit and disband, but these have got gold chevrons. And I mean, if the plague's only around for three more turns... Yeah, let's. what I can do is... Um, yeah, merge some, uh, merge some archers. You seek knowledge. Embed the Handmaiden, and then take my other heroes in and out again, um, just so that they heal. Yeah, okay, right, and um, up here, so only minus 370, <clears throat> which isn't too bad. We do have access to Regiments of Renown as well, I need to remember that for Teclis. So I think we, um, we just see what they do, because we can't, we can't beat that out in the field right now with what we've got. Um, 12 units, but we can certainly, yeah, probably fight it with the um, with the garrison involved. So yeah, cool. Okay, um, I think we're done for this turn. Yeah, this play could mess everything up. Your feeble-minded plans are of no concern. Yeah, okay, so we've got a small force here, they've just besieged, um, the Cult of Sotek army is actually on the water, and the plague has spread to Fuming Serpent itself to the settlement, um, oh, Jesus, what a situation. Yeah, okay, alright, cool. Um, I don't know how badly... No, okay, I think it's only just spread there, so they haven't taken any attrition yet. Um, oh shit, I was looking at the wrong settlement. No, crap, they're, they're down to about yeah 70% HP. Of all the things that I needed right now... Yeah, okay, I mean, let's have a look. What have we got in terms of regiments are in now? Yeah, I might just have to take them, uh, which really sucks. Let's see how we get on with... Um, can I see what's in their army? Yeah, okay. Be good to have something fast. The lions would be good to take out artillery. 
Um, and we need we just need another unit of archers. Um, but yeah, some front line would be good as well. So we'll take the um, we'll take those guys. Right, so Teclis, my chum. Yeah, come over here. Right, so I might have to make that attack with the garrison. I think it would be okay, actually, to just go in. Yeah, fine. Definitely going to have to fight this. Fucking hell, look at the state of us. Okay, alright, cool. Yeah. All my characters at the start, can. Um, I'll, I'll focus and get some heals on. Okay, right. <clears throat> so, what? Are, oh, for God's sake, the terrain as well here is terrible. Um, I'd suggest we fight here. At least we're going to funnel them through this space there. Um, the war lions, I'm going to get into the trees um, and just hide them for the time being. And then they're going to go and take the artillery offline. Uh, we do have. Oh, actually, that said, yeah, we do have a garrison. Yeah, okay, no, it's going to be better then to fight up here. Um, so, yeah, war lions are still okay over there. Yeah, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. Um, so get them firing, yeah, something like this. And then, yeah, so the front line is going to be... Oh, shite, look at the state of this. We're going to come out of this, like, battered. Uh, these guys need to plug a gap and stand there. The actual archers... Yeah, something, something like this. Um, well, obviously not like in the forest like that. <clears throat> Let's move them back a little way. For duty, without fail. Yeah, so can they go? No, not not in, a, not in any sensible deployment, at least. Um, yeah, it's just dot these around. So we've got two more. Um, they can actually go forwards. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, something like that. Um, we've got my handmaids in who can go here to begin with. So yeah, Teclis can obviously go... Uh, in fact, yeah, all the characters go here because we're going to heal them. Or yeah, in fact, um, go here just so that we don't accidentally heal the uh, the archers. Right, okay. And um, is that it? Note the eagle. How could I forget? Right, okay, cool. Yeah, let's give this give this a whirl. Okay, fine. Right, so... Yeah, first things first. Heal this pocket. Lions, just get in the trees. Hopefully they will ignore them and start... They'll just wander off when they're hidden. In fact, yeah, go here. Just get them to hide sooner. Come on, hide, hide. Okay, they're hidden. Yeah, okay, fine. Right, they've backed off. Good. Okay, cool. And my room for right, all of my stuff is here now. So yeah, brilliant. Um, so actual front line. Yeah, we don't have a lot. War lines need to just come over now. These guys come here. Um, throw down another, yeah, throw down another heal on my characters, and then we'll start going to, uh, yeah, harass them and stuff. These guys can come out here. That eagle can come here too. <clears throat> yeah, bring them up this way. Okay, fine. Right, lions go over there. Techless. What have we got? Is it Loki? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, okay, come over there then. So I'm half asleep today. Um, yeah, come come over there and go for the other one. Um, Eagle can stay here. You guys come up here. Throw down one of those. Yeah. 
Let's get this offline quickly. I don't think I needed to actually. Yeah, um, get the lines up here. Eagle can go in on the front line as well. Eagles, should I say. What happened to the noble? Yeah, bring him, bring him in there. Handmaiden isn't firing. Um, it'd be good if she could focus on Loki or Felhart. Alright, so presumably this is messed up. Yeah, so come back. <clears throat> yeah, we've, we've dealt with this. Um, however, there are a few... Um, yeah, there are a few troops over here. Get onto those dark shards, actually. That's not going to be a bad idea. <clears throat> yeah, and that's good too. Aren't you skirmishing, or supposed to be? Yeah, deal with those black art corsairs there. And I think we're, I think we're good. Yeah, we're okay. Get onto the dark shards there. Definitely taking some damage. I bet you my swordmasters. I was going to say. Yeah, victory. Okay, and they shouldn't have any. They shouldn't be able to retreat as per the other times. Um, fine. Yeah. Oof. Oh, I should have done some healing. Never mind. Oh, it's okay. It was only really techless. I could have healed the eagle, but it's one of those things. Never mind. Okay, absolutely want the replenishment. Okay, bye bye Loka Felhart. Okay, good. Right now I think well I think I think fuck is what I think. Um Yeah, I think I go in the settlement. Um this plague man is like the worst possible thing that could have happened. Yeah, we're losing six hundred a turn. Um yeah, we just we just got to see what these guys do because I I need those troops. We need to do this for at least a turn. Right, can I use influence to do anything? So, for example, get the awakened. They're already at war. What about with Itza? Yeah, they're already at war. Okay. Um, Blessed Dreads and Itza could decrease relations there. Yeah, that might lead them to go to war. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. So, Teclis, let's go for... Ward safe for Lawmasters, Warmasters. Yeah, that, that's decent, but um, I think I'll go for... I need to start working down his magic properly. So, how many points do I need to get Flames of the Phoenix? Um, so, I need five. Right, so he can have Regrowth, he can have Net. Kind of got what he needs right now, though. Yeah, let's just bump up our magic reserves as much as possible, and now I'll work down there. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. And Handmaiden, you get a point and replenish troops. And Taldin. Get Immortality. Yeah, that's fine. He's a good lad. He's done well so far. This plague, this plague is just... Yeah, if this ends my campaign... I don't even know who it is. Is Skrulk still around, or is it those stupid... Clan Vesta or something like that. I just don't know, but for it to spread out here, like yeah, I mean it's pretty. Oh God, it's pretty devastating. Yeah, fine. Anyway, okay, right. Let's um, yeah, let's move on. Hmm. <coughs>
Yeah, okay. If they come up here, so be it. Like, we have a tier 3 garrison. And I'm not sure about sallying out to meet them, but certainly... Oh, that's a right of primeval glory, but it has just had the plague. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, okay, it should make for a good battle. Oh, the plague's gone. Oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. Like, it's gone from here. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's really great. Um, let's stay in the settlement, though. Let's stay in the settlement here for a turn. Um, and then we can start thinking about going to push out and uh, deal with things. Yeah, and only minus 165 now. Okay, fine. And let's get... Oh, that's going to be a lot of cash, though. No, let's hold on for a moment. That's 1500 Yeah, I don't want to do that. I need to bump up my cash reserves. Uh, so fine, yeah, let's uh, just check that we didn't meet anybody. Yeah, okay, and uh, move on. So turn 50. Looks kind of bad, but these are these are fairly haggard. Like, okay, that's interesting. Don't waste your breath. Your words cannot move me. She can't lightning strike, and against all those dinos, that's going to be a very hard battle. Yeah, okay. Um, right, fine. It's hard to know exactly where they're going to go. What's this army? That's what I need to know, because I think I can sally out and beat this. So yeah, the Awakening. Did the Awakening have... No, it's not. The Garrison isn't at full strength, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to get over-optimistic. I'll give it a try, though. Yeah, and Teclis could come here. Set an ambush, because, yeah, we need... we've need. we obviously got these two armies as well. Um... Okay, fine, yeah, he'll almost be back at strength um, if the ambush doesn't get popped, get detected, you know, or triggered. Yeah, you get a point in regrowth. Um, okay. So, what are the odds going to say? We're going to say it's devastating. Oh no, it's going to say it's fifty. Yeah, we'll fight. We'll fight this. Yeah, okay. No, in this campaign, it will be like my army coming in, and then my other army will come in like the far corner. Oh, was that the other campaign I was playing last night? I can't remember. Getting a bit mixed up. Yeah, this should, this should be a fun one, yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's always this map. Okay, fine. Yeah, we've got exactly the same deployment um, that we had to, for that rebellion. So, yeah, cool. Um, there's no reason not to use the hill like this. So, yeah, fine. She can be safe, safe up here, um, do some pendulums and stuff. Um, the spears, put a unit there. Put a unit over here for now, um, and a unit that just can, can just respond to things. Okay, fine. So yeah, start the battle. Let's get arranged, get set up. <clears throat> Noble. Yeah, you go there. Um, you two can come over there. It's the same army, of course, isn't it? You two can go here. We can, all, in fact, no, go central. We can always respond. Um, that's the thing. But yeah, have these guys leaning to shoot this way. Yeah, same over there. And then, yeah, the Loth and Sea Guards. Sort of here. We're going to have to move things around. Um, Silverhelm's going to stay here to begin with. They just need to start firing ASAP from that position. Yeah, stay there, my little friends. Right, so let's arrange these now. Yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted. Right, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, put a pendulum through through there. How kind of you to turn around and make sure you get hit more by it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need these troops here by the looks of it. This unit of spears can move over that way. Temple guards, obviously the eagle. I mean, they are anti-large. Um, but let's get the eagle to go for, yeah, one of their characters or something. And the silver helms here. So yeah, we got a charge coming in. They can just move over and stay slightly in reserve. <clears throat> yeah, the eagle can just go and poke at that character. I don't think it'll do particularly well, but. Yeah, you get over there, you get over there. Okay, eagle come out. <clears throat> right, so. Yeah, through there should be decent. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's better than, better than nothing. I wonder if they've got missile troops. He could go in and scout ahead, have a look at their army properly, and um, yeah, maybe poke at the slam. Noble, what's going on here? Yeah, fine. Okay, all right, come back. Yeah, come back. Right, okay. Um, turn around. Whoops. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, just turn around. We need more troops shooting over there. Um, you guys come over here as well. And you. That's our magic gone, unfortunately, but I don't really regret it. Yeah, it's 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 actually quite a good use. All right, spears get here. Okay, hard to know about that. They might be sending. They might send some of the crocodiles in. Look at that! It just missed through the fireball. And um, will this do anything? I don't think so. I think we're too depleted. But she does have arcane conduit. Yeah, so maybe something like that. No, okay, there are some missiles there. Yeah, bring the eagle back. Bring the eagle back. Yeah, I think I think we're okay over here. Yeah, shoot at that healthy unit. Come on, Eagle. Doing well. Try and juke out this fireball. Yeah, it missed. I think it might have might have grazed him, but fine. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, get back. Just whatever you're doing, just stop. We have dealt with this. There, there is a backup unit of spears there. Yeah, they, they have made quite a mess of us though. Um, let's move over a unit of swordmaster just in case they are needed. Yeah, they, he's broken. That, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, everybody broke. Um, so yeah, fine. Bring these spears back. Or even get them to chase off the general. Yeah, if we can stop him rallying, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, fine, okay. Right, so the spray mode actually works quite well against proxy guards, but I think I'd rather we focus on temple guards. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be a case of uh, turning all of these units back around. So yeah, some, something like that. Yeah, and these guys too uh, come over here. And you guys, yeah, stay back now. Stay here. <clears throat> Probably going to get away, um, but yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, come back. Come back over here for now. Yeah. Is their range like? Yeah, they'll be shooting soon. Might need to readjust what I just did um, if they're going to send the yeah, yeah a unit rounds here. But let's see. Right, how are we doing on the uh, the magic front? The noble's anti-large. Let's get him to go in on the Croxigors. The eagle could maybe go for the uh, yeah for the fat boy again. Yeah, they have rallied there. Okay, fine. And that's going to be army losses, so... 
Yeah, fine, okay. I didn't use the silver helms deliberately. I want them to run stuff down. But yeah, everybody else, just try and yeah, try and shoot everything that we can. We don't really have anything else flat fast apart from the eagle, but let's try and take out this slam. Yeah, stay back. So yeah, Croxigors are dealt with. Nice one. Yeah, get rid of these Saurus Warriors. Alright, you can go... Go and try and kill him. Yeah, and they can go on the Temple Guards there. You picked the wrong Awakening to, uh, to attack today, my friend. Okay, fine. I think that's probably it. Yeah, unless the eagle just comes to help with these. Yeah, that, no, they'll be wiped out in a moment. Stupid lizards. That wasn't very smart, was it? Yeah, that's a good map for defending, for sure. Um... Oh. Right, we'll take the uh, yeah, take the money. Okay, fine. Yeah, nice one. And um, we'll just auto resolve this. Get rid of that guy. Strike them down. Yep. Bye bye. They will suffer. The oh, we don't even get off get offered loot from that. Okay, yeah, and uh, just come back into the awakening. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, he's only got one skill point. Let's just take a point, Bow Master. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right. So things aren't looking quite as bad now. Yeah, after that, and uh, the plague going away. So yeah, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, we can afford to do that. If I do that, that's going to get me a law master. A lot of money. It's, yeah, it's a lot of money. If our income drops for any reason, we might be in trouble. But I think I'll go for it. And yeah, okay. So what's what's the choices now? So armor for your basic troops, charge bonus, melee attack for shadow warriors, weapon strength for great eagle and war lion units. Yeah, I think we'll go for. Oh, it's hard to know. Yeah, just go for the armor. Yeah, okay. The other thing, I think it's going to be two... I won't do any Sisters of Avalon recruitment yet. Um, but yeah, I can do that and get rid of the Regiments of Renown at some point. Um, so yeah, fine. Um, we just need to check if we've met anybody new, which we haven't. So yeah, let's move on. Hopefully... So Hennewin might go for the vampires. Because they're all at war with the vampires as well, I think. Yeah, they do. Well, I, I know that. Yeah, they do. Like, it's pretty bad. I just mean because he sailed past. He might go for the awakening. But I think if he gets... like, Obviously, if they're in a situation where they're near each other... And they can't attack me. They will attack each other. Um, okay, cool, right. Four Carnosaurs in there. That's like the end of a um, Primeval Glory army. Let's have a look. If I can just make that attack. Yeah, I think we'll go, we'll go and do that. Um, yeah, we'll go and do that. Destroy them. Uh, we could auto resolve, but I think no, we'll um, we'll fight it. Yeah. Steady hand is needed. Yeah, the pro we got a Skaven plague. Like, um, yeah, the, I, I had a Skaven plague just come out of nowhere a few turns ago, and I only caught the end of it, fortunately. But yeah, like Teclis had to go back and hide on the island, and I was like, yeah, it looked like things could go badly wrong because there was there were two Dark Elf armies, 
four lizard man armies, I think. Um, and then the vampires were like poking about as well. So, but it was okay. We dealt. We had a damaged army, and we dealt with the dark elves while we were damaged. So it wasn't too bad. Okay, so I'm going to want these to focus down dinosaurs. So keep them in single target mode. Yeah, it's. A, I thought it would be fun for, for doing this type of campaign for sure. It was a bit sketchy. I suicided him yesterday. Like I didn't mean to. Like we ended up fighting and dying. I lost my lawmaster as well. But it's fine. I came back from it. So. Yeah, I'd agree with that for sure. Um, right, Teclis can go out front. Noble and the Eagle. Yeah, I can just stay just stay here for the moment. Lions. They're not they're anti infantry. There might be something for them to go and do. And yeah, my mage um, my mage can just stay back here. Yeah, and same with the uh, the handmaiden. She's not even on a horse yet, so. Yeah, just keep her there. So start deployment. You guys, uh, just come back here. Okay, fine, yeah. And let's start the battle. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. And doing a This Is Total War campaign, I've had to focus on his blue line. So... <laughs> it sounds fun, though. Yeah, I'll do a bit of work. Let's try and get some poke on one of the carnosaurs. I'll just circle around with these. Are they just gonna, are they just going to stand in that? Okay, awesome. That's not bad for a chain lightning when you don't have that many infantry in the uh, in the enemy army. I want to see if I can get the attention of some of these skinks and just go for them, or maybe go for a character. Yeah, fine. If they're going to send the Carnosaur out front, that's really good. Yeah, okay, right, Skinks reject. What? I put that Chain Lightning down and it's like they're rooted on the spot. Yeah, that Carnosaur is going to take a lot of damage on his way in. He'll probably Rampage soon as well, won't he? It's like 80% HP. Oh, uh, we could try for another one of these on some of the Temple Guard again. Or maybe just get them to stand still. Okay, if you're going to sit there. Yeah, fine, okay. Alright, they're braced. They don't have the best leadership, right? We need to prioritise some of this. You two shoot there. Um, you two shoot at him. Handmaiden, keep on shooting here. Teclis might have to go in and fight that. Right, Eagle come back anyway. Eagles, should I say. Um. Right, these are archers, so that isn't great. Um, she can come in and tank, I suppose. Yeah, just run into combat there. I'll put these into spray mode now, um, and they can just focus on some of these uh, these temple guards. Right, eagles and stuff. No, they're backing off. Okay, they're backing off. That's fine. So yeah, eagles and stuff, yeah, go in, um, go in on that one, I think. Uh, Teclis can finish that one off. Or, I mean, it's gone. It's gone, yeah. It's shattered. So yeah, to get Teclis over here. Or he can go for the... Um, yeah, they're going to take army losses quite soon, I think. All right, you two turn around and start shooting. Oh, it's Gorok. <clears throat> yeah, go in there. Um... Bring her up. Pop down a heal on that pocket. Yeah, Teclis is going to harass the skink G. Right, Spears here, get back in. Um, and then over here, I think that unit's uh, yeah, not doing a great deal. Oh, my Eagle got wrecked. Never mind. Oh, it was my Noble. Yeah, that's okay, he'll come back. Can you stay on task? I give Teclis like the little the little jobs because he's not um, the most reliable of lords in melee at least. All right, she needs to come back. 
The main threats here now are just these couple of dinos in here. Um, yeah, it's a fun campaign. I haven't done. I've never done Techless Mortal Empires. I've only done Techless on Vortex. Um, See, so yeah, I come over here. Uh, the noble, I think he routed off the battlefield. That's a shame, but never mind. Yeah, try and get these back. With, there's no point shooting Gorok, um, but yeah. All right, this guy's gonna go. Teclas, I think, just YOLO and just go in there. Really, not much point doing that, but oh, the carnosaur. We got a hot one back there. Okay, he's broken already. Fine, stay back. Um, yeah, shoot at these. You guys turn around and shoot at them. You keep on shooting at him. Just make sure he doesn't come back. Taking some casualties, but probably less than if we auto resolve still. So. Yeah, and he's in the settlement, so we don't need to run anything down. My favourite race. Oh, that's a tricky one. My favourite races are probably Lizardmen, Lizardmen Empire, and uh, Lizardmen Empire, and I probably would say High Elves. Um, but my favourite Lord for High Elves is probably Alifanar. And for the Lizardmen, it's Tehenuin, and for the Empire, it's Balthazar Gelt, for sure. But there's no races I really hate. You know, I mean, I did my first Beastmen campaign a couple of weeks ago. Um, I did my first Dwarf campaign uh, last week. And I found that more fun than... I hate the dwarves, like, but I found it more fun than I thought it was going to. Well, how about you? Yeah, dwarves with, like, the flamethrowers, like, yeah, the iron drakes, they're very fun. Oh, yeah, dark elves are cool, yeah. Not my, not one of my... I wouldn't say they're in my top three, but, yeah, I like the dark elves. I like, um... I like Loki Felhart actually. I wish he got a better campaign and better campaign mechanics with the Black Ox. Uh, will Luton occupy this? For the king, Tekus, I okay, right, yeah, we've uh, defeated Gorok. I randomly got a trait there I wasn't expecting. Ah, uh, yeah, Skaven are probably very close to my top three, and I like, um, yeah, Snitch um, is probably my favourite. I mean, everyone loves Dickie Claw, but I think I just prefer. I made an all assassin army on my stream a few weeks ago and it was just the most fun I think I've had in so long. Yeah, same. Yeah, we it's it sucks, doesn't it? December now. Right. Yeah, he can get speed. Cheers for the follow by the way as well. Yeah, I did I did a Durfu campaign about a month ago, um, because I haven't played the the Wood Elf since Warhammer One, and Durfu is just an absolute monster. Like he's so good. He could practically, by the end of it, I swear he could like practically solo half an army. Um, the Handmaiden, yeah, go down here. We're ignoring any damaged buildings and stuff, and I think we're good to move on. So yeah, let's just have a look. The only other threat here right now is this. That will be interesting for sure. Because um, although it's very badly damaged, yeah, I mean, that's still, the, you saw what happened there, and there were only five dinos in that. So yeah, let's move on and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, what is he doing? I, the reason he's not gone for the Awakening is because the Undead are there. They are at war, so but they're going to come for me. So yeah. I think I've already beat... No, have I? No, I don't think I have got to. I don't know what Tehenuin's Lord Defeat trait is. Okay, right, what's the deal here? Do we still get Vampiric... No, we don't get Vampiric Attrition there anymore, so I can move... I don't care about the Blood Swamp, so it'll probably get taken again. Like, we've got... Does that have military presence there? Yeah, okay, maybe not. Maybe most of their armies are up and about. So I'm going to move Teclis down. Plain sneaky Teclis, basically. There is no limit to my power. So yeah, keep him here. Um, we'll take the Noble out and put him back here. They're unlikely to make that attack. Um, but what I could do is throw a Regiment of Renown in there just in case they did. Um, Talons of Torquilada, they're not bad and they're quite cheap. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll put that in. I really should be saving them for more emergencies than this, but... Yeah, fine. And let me just check Hero Recruitment. Yeah, so we can get another Handmaiden. 
I was hoping for a better trait to come up, but I really can't be too fussy right now. Um, we'll just go for Halen Harty. Yeah, and she can come up into that army there. Okay, cool. So ignore this. We're going to have a rebellion at the Awakening as well soon. So that's good experience for her. And yeah, let's move on. Just need to check again. Yeah, nobody knew. Yeah, I've only I played on started playing on Legendary about three months ago, um, and um, yeah, I I wouldn't go back now. Liz and men are awesome, like, but they I can see how they put people off. Yeah, um, sometimes like I mean when I stream Liz and men, I I mean I'm a new streamer. I've only been streaming for a month, well about seven or eight weeks. But when I stream lizard men, I notice I barely get any viewers. Like, um, which is a shame because I love the lizard men. Like, but. Um, yeah, I don't think people are too keen on watching Lizardmen streams. Okay, fine, right, so, yeah, nothing untoward happening here. The Dark Elves will probably send an army soon. So what I want to try and do is push down. I want to be able to leave her army to fend for itself and be the warden here and like deal with any threats that come here. And then I want Teclis to push down and take this territory next. Um, but obviously we've got to deal with these threats to begin with. My so yeah, cool. Right, Handmaiden, yeah, get her on a steed straight away. Um, and my mage here could put her on a chariot, but I'll take Arcane Conduit. Yeah, I did a Hexo at all. This is Total War, and um, it was it was good fun. Master Mundi though is a, is a beefy. After Tehenowin, Master Mundi is probably my favourite lord. Okay, cool. Right, can I see what's in? Look at these shit armies they're sending at me. Look at this bollocks. Yeah, I don't I don't even need to fight that. I don't even need to lower myself to fighting that. Um, so we'll just get the cash. Yeah, we'll get the cash and the influence. The okay, fine, right. So like I say, I think I'm going to leave her here. I think that's all of their strength. I think they've literally probably got, yeah, nothing now. The reason I didn't want to push on Poxmarsh is because I don't want to meet the High Elves just yet. Um, and I know if they're at war with um, Noxilus, that might happen. I could go and take it. I could just leave them there. It's a good source of experience if they're only going to send bats at me. Yeah, I think I'll leave them there. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and... I'm going to see where Tehenuin goes. Um, we'll set an ambush here. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, we'll set an ambush there. This handmaiden can start moving up. Um, and we should be able to... Yeah, in one turn we can get a Lawmaster. Uh, so fine. Yeah, let's just have a look at our skill, at skill ups. So Teclis... I think I'll leave these two for now. Yeah, I think I'll leave those two for now and we'll get... Oh, what to get? Net's good. They're all decent spells. I need five points to get Flames and the Phoenix, so I'll probably put two points into Regrowth. And... Yeah, I'll get Net. I'll get Net first. Fine, okay, and we're ignoring that. We're about to have a rebellion here, that's fine. Okay, yeah, we can move on. Alright, cool. So how we sit in terms of strength. Yeah, we're all a bit we're all a bit shit down here. Strength rank 61. I mean I'm ranked 39. 61, 68, 73, 83, whatever. Um Yeah, cool. Okay, let's move on. Strength rank 38, that's absurd, isn't it? That's like so low. I'd expect to be within the top 20 having two armies at like turn 50 in the game. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, very true. No one down here is doing very well, though. There's too many legendary lords in this space. I wish they'd made the Mortal Empires map just a little bit bigger. So the only reason I enjoy when I play um, 
yeah, when I play a Vortex campaign, that's one of the only things I enjoy. <clears throat> it's just like the bigger map, you know, it's like Lustre is so cool and there's more of it and that kind of thing. Okay, uh, she can just come in and reinforce. I'll let Teclis get the, uh, the bulk of the XP. Vortex is definitely, yeah, it's definitely a nice break from Mortal Empires as well. I just find the threat and the challenge goes too quickly. Like, I did an Imric Vortex campaign, and it was fun for the first 30 or 40 turns, because there was a lot to do, but then suddenly it's just me and Eshin and, like, some lizard men on that entire south, like, southern jungles area. Uh, I think we'll go for cash again. Yeah. Let them go. My steps yeah, like, the challenge just went really quickly. Um, okay, all right, so Henwin's poking about down here, so I think Teclis goes back to deal with that. Could go out over the water. Yeah, where can he get... Well, that's not going to be accurate because he's in he's in Force March. Um, ah, we'll see. Now, I'll come, I'll come down this way. Yeah, I'll, I'll come down this way and I'll just, I'll just hide. Because he might go for Blood Swamps because it doesn't have walls. So, if we leave Teclis here... And she can just get another point in Bowmaster. And then, yeah, stay... Um, I need to get her the Ambusher trait. So she can just sit here and go into Ambush Stance. Okay, right, still not doing anything with that. Yeah, I will I will be. I do have a Noble, but he's quite an integral part of my, my battle strategy right now. So I need to get um, a Noble building in both places so I can get more capacity. There's never a dull moment in this type of campaign. That's why it's so fun. Like, the money that you make from battles is your main source of income. So, she can get another point in replenish troops. Um, what to do here? Yeah, get the final point into regrowth. And the noble can go for, yeah, more speed. Yeah, it's it's also it's a good way to play. It's a, it's how I play most of my campaigns. You know, focus on leveling up your lords and stuff. Um, that's just that, and that's going to be the end of the turn. Yeah, so at least this Dino, right? That's not accurate because he hasn't taken any replenishment. I don't think. Oh shit! If he has taken replenishment, that's going to be certainly more annoying to deal with. Yeah, fine. Uh, let's just check. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because he's allied with, um, I was just thinking now, because he's allied with Gorok. So when he moves into their waters, he gets uh, he gets replenishment, doesn't he? Alright, he's going for Blood Swamps. Okay, apparently we've ambushed. Ha! <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Um, just take the cash. I didn't expect her to actually ambush anybody, I just want her to get the trait. He's still on the water, that's annoying. But if I set an ambush right next to the settlement, then I'll ambush him. Um, and even if I don't deploy for an ambush, it just means we get the jump. Let's have a look. So I could bring her down as well in Force March. Because there is going to be a lot of stuff to kill. Um, right, we've recovered to full here. Yeah, so if I were to go, I could actually, I could go and make that attack. Or I could do what I just said, and I think we'll um, let them, we'll try and coax them on land. So if we just stand there. I just don't want to be all coming in at funny angles, that's the only thing. Um, but if I did bring her down as well. Oh yeah, man, go and enjoy. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice chatting to you and thanks for the follow. I'll catch you again, hopefully, over the weekend. Full speed, Asya! True magic guides me. Her most loyal servant. Right, we'll move her there. My protection is yours. Trade right, okay, good. Right, we do have Dark Elves poking about again. Um... 
man, it's not like I'm going to lose these battles, but it's just like, yeah, I need a break. I need a breather to actually push down here um, and get more territory. But yeah, okay, uh, right, she can go for, yeah, final point to Bowmaster. That's good. And I think that's probably it. Yeah, okay, so we just need to see. We just need to deal with this. No, they didn't. They didn't take replenishment. It's because when um, some of the unit cards are in are question marks, but the others you can see, they don't show. They don't give you an accurate picture. And I don't know if that's deliberate or if it's a bug. It might be deliberate, so you can't get a full idea of what state the army's in. But I don't know. The yeah, fine. Okay. Why didn't my reinforcements come in? I don't know. Anyway, get the money. Lufa Harkon's going to send a load more bats at me, I'm sure, soon. So what I'm hopefully going to get is a window where I can deal with the Dark Elves and then just get down and take some territory and actually push on the Dark Elves. because, And then I have the whole coast, and that could be a bit problematic to defend. But wherever we end up, we're going to be yeah, under assault from like every direction. Okay, I mean, that's going to be a bat army, right? I'll get her to... Yeah, she just comes back up here. And let's have a look at this, right? So, yeah, she can get Spearmaster. Okay. She can get the extra point, I think, first. We'll get the extra point into Awakening of the Woods. And he can get... Uh, okay, let's start making him... He only has 70 armor. Yeah, we'll <clears throat> carry on making him as um, yeah strong as possible. Right, okay. I will I will probably lose blood swamps again. But let's come here and um, set an ambush and see where they go. Yeah, and we'll recover to full hopefully by then. Um. Yeah, okay, cool. And um, let's have a look. I think we should be able to get another mage. Oh, I don't have the influence to get... Um, I think I'll hang on, because... Yeah, I don't have the influence right now to get um, an entrepreneur, because I want to boost my funds up. Where am I making most money? 2338 here. 1339 there. But it's based on... Yeah, you can obviously get more money out of a province that's got three settlements rather than two. Uh, it's cool. Okay, right, let's... Uh, yeah, let's move on. Deal with these dark elves, and then just see if we can catch a break and go and go and poke some of the settlements. Yeah, what I could have done tactically is leave her in ambush here so that she was actually able to get to Blood Swamps. Um, anyway, let's have a let's have a look. Right, so still no need to do trade advancements. Um, oh, okay, we could we could go for the Eagle Tech. We don't have the buildings for that yet. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Right. So she can she can force march into Blood Swamps. Um, but let's see if I've got the movement. Where's that going to take me? Yeah, because if I... Um, I might lightning strike that. Because he gets wiped out. Yeah, fine. I mean, arguably, I don't even need to fight it. Mm, not sure. I'm a little bit, a little bit wary about that after, after yesterday. Yeah, okay, alright, cool. Yeah, we'll take some replenishment. Yeah, he's in Force March as well. Okay, good. Yeah, this this is fine. 
Um, and let's see if we... Yeah, we should fight this one. Um, just because we've taken some damage. The auto resolve's not going to be very kind to us. So yeah, fine. It's a bit sick. Just sick of fighting Luther Harkon. Okay, yeah, it's nothing, nothing flash about this deployment. Let's just go here. Uh, spray mode, archers. Let's actually, yeah, we'll check a board a little bit. Um, then we got swordmaster. In fact, swordmasters. I'll just keep them there for now because they're going to be the target of every, uh, every missile. And yeah, I can put the, um, yeah, put the storm riders in the middle. Okay, cool. Right, Katos can go. Let's go over here for now. I'll go. I'll send them for the artillery, and I'll put these in. Um, yeah, I'll put them in a group for now. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Uh, try and go and pop down. Um, well, throw a couple of fireballs and pop down a chain lightning, maybe. Okay, um, to be honest, there should be quite good. See what they do. Ah, uh, they stopped though, yeah, they they uh, they stayed back. Oh shit, heck, this is getting shot. Um, chuck a fireball. That's doing alright, actually, yeah, that's doing okay. Yeah, and then just come back. Oh, they don't have anything fast, do they? Um, I'll just get the lions to go out that way. These guys can come up here. What's this then? Attune to magic and greater arcane can't do it. Okay, yeah, fine. Right, yeah, you guys get onto the dark shards there. Lions go over here. Um, Techless, I think, come over here too. Try and just make these dark shards skirmish while I'm doing stuff with the nobles and so on. We'll take a bit of damage for sure. The other thing I can do is actually just let them stay still. Um, and um, yeah, pop down a uh, chain lightning. If they're going to stay still, I'll just let them shoot me for a moment just while that goes down. Yeah, okay. Try and skirmish into it. Try and shepherd them a little bit. Okay, fine. Uh, pop a potion of Troy with him. Get a bit of healing. And then I think we come back now. Um, yeah, the artillery's offline, so this is pretty much done. Lions go for... Yeah, that's going to be army losses, so... Okay, they get wiped out too. That was easy peasy. So now I want to try and get back into Blood Swamps. Hopefully we won't get attacked in the settlement. Let's just see how much movement I've got and what we can do. Nine percent replenishment. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, we'll take that. Money's really good. Okay, cool. So I can't, unfortunately, quite make it to attack that. Oh, actually, a fun army. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, he won't be able to set an ambush, but we can get back in there for certain. If I'm going to hang around here, I should probably actually upgrade this. Because if I could get it, um, yeah, let's see. She could make it down here to help in the fight. Yeah, just see how he responds. So yeah, they won't be able to attack her 
Not as long as there's no lizard setting an ambush here. Oh, okay, my buddy. Um, yeah, you got two points in net. Um, I think then it's useful for him to have regro regrowth for sure. But Flaming Sword's pretty good because it does do base missile damage. Um, it does buff base missile damage as well, uh, which is really good on sisters. Oh, but I, I can only take one. If I'm going to keep the life major with him, I guess maybe I could take... Well, that commits me to keep the life major with him for, like, the rest of the game. Yeah, okay, we'll do that, yeah. It's always good having synergy between the characters, I suppose. Um, yeah, and she can get... Honestly, yeah, speed of a Syrian's not bad. Um, and then we'll get uh, hard to hit, probably. Oh, she got two. Oh, okay. Um, well, yeah, we'll get missile resist for her as well. And she can go for... Do... Cleanse corruption wouldn't be bad, actually. Yeah, put a point in there. And he can just get yeah, just a point in his leadership. Okay, fine. Yeah, so we'll probably end up fighting this over the end turn. Um, and it will definitely probably give him the advantage. It just seems to favour like these bombers like really highly in auto-resolve. Yeah, he's... How the hell has he got that? Because if they were recruited, they'd have more chevrons. And it can't all be from uh, Ray's dead. Anyway, though. I could use this opportunity to just try and start getting this built up. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, I mean, if there's... It's not... Yeah, I don't know... Yeah, okay. No, no armies in the settlements, but it doesn't mean there's not, like, Lizardmen armies stood here and here ready to move in. Uh, so fine, yet yeah, we're still... We still don't have 40 influence, so let's just carry on. Ah, okay, alright, fun. Right, okay, so I'm going to take, oh, an advice to the king again, that's really good. Um, oh, it costs influence though. We could take a hit to public order. We'll do that, actually, yeah. Um, cause public order is still okay here. Yeah, we're going to have a rebellion there, right. So what we're actually going to do is switch roles now. She's going to come back, just for the time being, she's going to come back to try and pursue this army here. Because with a garrison, we'd have no bother with that. Um, and Teclis is going to try and take the opportunity to go and... Uh, I don't know whether... I might push on Zlanuape. Or we just go down and take it to the Dark Elves, in which case, yeah, he could... Um, Let's do that actually. Yeah, I really I really want to take them out. And then we can take Chippiotl, um, Mangrove Coast, Marks of the Old Ones. And if I move him down here, then he can actually get back as well. And they shouldn't be able to make, to make the attack on me. Yeah, he can get back if needs be. If there is, if there is any problems, he can just uh, yeah fast travel back to um, Blood Swamps. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is this is fine. Okay. So where the hell? A bit worried about clan pestilence. Got to be careful about getting ambushed and stuff down here. Um, so they're clearly still around. Nothing you can say will dampen my hatred. I'm just bored of you, Loki. What can I say? Oh, fuck you. Oh, for God's sake. Why is the garrison not recovered from the plague yet? Well, that's bullshit. Okay, alright, he didn't... Well, whatever. Uh, okay, that's annoying. I'll see if I can handle that without having to involve tech lists. But seriously, though, why had to get... It's been, it's been turns and turns. Is that a bug? Of 
Okay, all right. He's in Force March. We've got a perf we've got a brilliant opportunity here, um, but we'll probably have to take. Yeah, we'll probably have to do that. Look how much experience they got? Three triple chevrons from one battle. What a load of what a load of crap. Yeah. Okay. You know what? We'll take this as well. I just want to get this dealt with, um, and then I'll just disband them so that they're uh, yeah available again. Magic in purest form. Fury of the winds. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Um, yeah, this uh, it won't perform as well as Auto Resolve thinks it will. All right, well that seems to have sorted the garrison out at least and reset them because I don't think they replenished after the plague and that that must be a bug. They were all damaged but at like different health. What a load of crap. The winds of magic guide us. Moan, 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 moan. That's all I do. Yeah, this this should be okay. Uh, I don't want to tempt fate, but this should be okay. The Shadow Warriors outrage hand cannons and bombers. And these these aren't the pistol variants, so yeah. And we got a nice little yeah raised area up here. A little bit of garrison coming in over there. Fine. Um yeah, cool, okay. Right, so um yeah, you guys go a little bit wide, I'd say. Um and I won't put them yeah, I won't checkerboard them. We've got two more here. I'll just move them around as and when stuff gets in range. And then we've got three spears. So yeah, spears can just go something like this. These guys can stay in reserve to actually deal with threats rather than just getting blown up. Um, and then the handmaiden isn't on a horse yet. She can just, she can just stay there. Um, and she could go and try and cast a pendulum or two on the way. Uh, so yeah, some, something like that. And the Shadow Warriors, right, so... I'll happily put them over here to play with these. Yeah, okay, fine. Start shooting at them. And just back off. Yeah, just start backing off. Um, right, so Laity Mage, go over there. You guys are oh, just whatever, yeah, move up. Yeah, okay, it wasn't the worst cast in the world, wasn't the best cast in the world. Um, they're going to face off against the bats, that's okay, they should win there. I could have popped that earlier and made them unspottable, but never mind. You guys just come up here, yeah, they're going to faff about. They'll definitely take some damage from the bats, but yeah, um, it's only going to be a problem if the, uh, the hand cannons and stuff get in range. Uh, what am I doing with you? Yeah, okay, it's alright. Yeah, bring her back. Everything should start firing soon. Try and come over here, yeah, try and keep on moving. Right, so let's um, get some firing orders out. We're just going to ignore zombies. Yeah, you shoot there, you shoot there, you shoot there. You guys... I think one of you could come over there, in fact. Yeah, and the, uh, yeah, the, uh, look at this. So they don't even, they're not even, they don't give a shit about that. Okay, fine. We kind of dealt with the bats and stayed out of range of hand cannons and stuff, which is good. Yeah, just come back. Yeah, just come back over here. Or in fact, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. Yeah, go back out this way. Yeah, that's okay. Um, should get some spears over there. 
I shouldn't just ignore zombies. And yeah, I mean the missiles are pretty much dealt with, okay. Yeah, bring uh, whatever with those, yeah. It's a little bit Oh shit. Are we firing at them? Yeah, okay, we haven't they're not firing at us, that's fine. So actually try and shoot at those. You guys can move out of there because they are bombing us now. Um Yeah, they're bombers as well. Come back this way. If they're gonna bomb anyone, let them bomb the spears. Lol at this. Yeah, they're nearly gone. Shoot at them. Um, yeah, we're doing okay here as well. Just get them to get and shoot at them. I'll just do something. Right, can we get those bombers gone, please, before they uh, blow up? I could just get them to run into combat here. Um, yeah, fine. And how are we how are we looking over here? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, just stay on them. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be over soon. It's so funny how bad the auto resolve is. For uh, yeah, I mean, how how perfectly do they think an army like that's gonna perform? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we're good. I completely forgot about them. Absolutely, 100% completely forgot about them. Never mind. Uh, take the cash and the influence, yeah. Good. Right, so... For you then... Right, we've got, we got 16, nearly 16k in the bank. Right, we're going to get rid of these. Get rid of them. Get rid of them, get rid of them. I'll hang on to the Sisters of Avalon for now, just so I've got something with a bit of punch in this army. Um, so we're losing 1k a turn. Oh shit, we don't really need them. Yeah, we don't really need them, okay. Alright, just stay there. Stay there, like, she should be okay with an army this size. What I could have her do, though, in fact, is recruit Sisters of Avalon. Um, and then potentially pass them over to Teclis the next time they meet. Yeah, that's a good idea, that's a better idea. Okay, fine. Yeah, so, um... I hear the waves. Yeah, that's going to make our income go down to about minus 1300 a turn. Um, okay, I think we're good. Big question is going to be, can I attack Chupa Yotl? Heal my power. Even if I can't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not frightened. No, okay, alright, we'll wait till next turn. Yeah, cool. Okay. Fuming Serpent. God, how dare you. Yeah, we need to get that repaired because we need to get it built back up. What we'll do is get rid of these units. Yeah, just to bring the income, the deficit down a little bit. And then she'll be back at the same strength, just with slightly better units in the army. Uh, we're going to have a rebellion here. Oh, we're going to have a rebellion here. Yeah, okay. Get her down to deal with that first. Should have sent her over the water. Uh, but never mind, yeah. She, she should be okay. Even if it attacks her immediately, uh, she should be fine. And let's do... Yeah, let's do this and see if we can get a nice item out of it. What you got for me? Helm of Cain, Ruby Guardian Phoenix. 12% flame resistance for everybody. 10% base missile damage for everybody around them. That's going to be really good for a, um, a handmaiden. Or wing, winged staff, winged staff. Can you go for the spyglass? Yeah, okay. 
because I have needed to, yeah, I was needing to have a look at gear and stuff. So don't have anything better for that. He's obviously got this stuff. Oh, I've got his quest battles to do as well. Right, Taldin. Yeah, he's good as he is, I think. I'll take the Minstrel, why not? Major of Life has got nothing. Um, she's nearly immortal. I'll give her that Shield of the Merworm. Yeah, and she can take... Yeah, take the other tricks to the Shard. And Rubinus. Take the Enchanted Spyglass, yeah, fine. And she can get... Yeah, I'll treat her. Does she have a shield? No, she doesn't. Yeah, cool. Okay, this is good. Yeah, take the bard. And then my other army. Feel bad for her. I bet you she's got... Oh, she's picked up a few things. Yeah, and I think I gave her the tricks to shard. It's got to be something better than an... Um, yeah, take a fireball instead of that crap. And... Yeah, we've already got like the... Advisors to the king and stuff. Okay, so her handmaiden can just take the Bane Shields. Yeah, and whatever, yeah, just take that. Okay, cool. So this Rebellion could pop up and just attack straight away. Um, would have been better to hang on to one of these, but never mind, you know. Living a bit dangerously. How are we here? Yeah, we're going to have a Rebellion at the Awakening in three turns. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's move on. got dinosaurs incoming again. Okay, they didn't make any attack. So we've re we've taken replenishment. <clears throat> first things first though, yeah. Let's deal with these uh Annoying Dark Elves once and for all. The amount of times I've fought Luther Hark not Luther Harkon, um, Loki of Felhart. Okay, yeah, he can take a point in leadership. Right. Attack the settlement. Why can't I attack the settlement? Get me on land. Oh, are they blocking it? You you absolute pieces of crap. The outcast children of There we go, okay, fine. Um we don't we don't need to fight this yeah let, and if we do that we wipe out the lords as well um so let's just we don't need the loot either it's probably called it's going to be horrible down here and i'm going to end up needing to deal with rebellions in three provinces but how while i'm while i'm down here yeah we'll so we'll take the cash that's fine now hopefully he's got the gold building here. No, he hasn't. What kind of what kind of man are you, Loki? Um, I won't repair this yet. So public order is going down to minus thirty automatically. We'll try and take Mangrove Coast next turn, and then yeah, obviously the Skaven will be here. So let's have a look. I might get somebody to go out and scout and just uh, check that settlement. Right. So Techless yet? Yeah, take another point in there. Handmaiden. Just get a point in hard to hit. Just one point off immortal. Um, yeah, take a point in plans corruption. Right, okay. So this, this is where it's going to be a little bit more interesting, I think. I'm not worried about that. I don't know what he's trying to do there. He's probably going to come down to blood swamps, actually. We may have to fight this manually. Or we might not. We'll see. Yeah, we, we've got the... We could steal that. Yeah, we could steal the Eagle Claw belt for it. I had nine chances. No, was it seven or nine chances to steal a bolt for yesterday, and I didn't manage it once, which really sucks. I don't have anything fast to go for the bolt thrower, unfortunately. Yeah, and they're going to employ like deploy all the way over there. Um. Yeah, okay. I mean, if I would send a character over to go and deal with it, then the eagles would go for the character before they got hidden in the trees. So, I think we we just sit back here and we might just have to soak up the fire. Uh, which does sort of suck, but... Yeah, we deploy a little bit like this. 
We got spheres, we got spheres, we got characters. And uh, yeah, let's let's go. You're not going to sit there, are you? You're you're a rebellion. You're supposed to just make the attack. Okay, fine. Okay, well, um I'll get the handmaiden to go and poke. And in fact, provided that we're not firing uphill, I'll just move the army forwards. Yeah, it's not too too it's not too long till she gets in range. I'm not deliberately trying to um, waste their ammo. I'm just trying to get in range so that I can fire a couple of shots at stuff and just get them to, to come for me. Yeah, a little bit further. Oh, she got knocked over. That's the first time though. They're going to move? Yep, okay. Alright, get the hell. Get the hell out of there. Move forwards. Here's here's fine. Yeah, here's fine. Okay. Um, all right, let's slow it slow it down now. She got she's still firing. All right, if the eagles are going to do this, we've actually wasted half of the artillery, aren't we? All right, you three get ready to deal with the eagle. Um. Try and get a pendulum through there. She's got fireballs as well, which I totally forgot about. Um, yeah, fire into the swordmasters, that's fine. Right, eagles, what are you doing? Did she not fire? No, she didn't, okay. Yeah, that eagle got wrecked. This one managed to evade me. Um... You two shoot back there. Yeah, you get ready to shoot round at the uh, the Swordmasters in particular. Um, she can go up there and uh, just yeah go and poke at the uh, the artillery. Don't particularly want her tanking, but there's a good opportunity for a pendulum here maybe. Um, oh, it's too close. Yeah, okay, it got a right, she needs to get out of there. In fact, I should have popped that down. Okay, yeah, you're right, her, um, yeah, her leadership should hold. Just get up there then, just go and poke at them. Fine, okay, yeah, and everybody turn around and just fire at Loth and Seaguard. Oh no, she took that one. Um, yeah, and you shoot there as well. Get a little fireball on the uh, mage compatriot over there. Might be might be quicker to get her into melee. Move her up. She'll fire while she's moving. I think. Yeah, she does have fire while she's moving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be it. The good thing is we haven't wiped that out, so we'll get a second shot at the uh, the bolt thrower if we don't get it. Yeah, just do a bit more. Just do a bit more damage to them. It'll make it. It'll make it easier to auto resolve. Wow, she's gonna get murdered. Come on, kill her. Kill her. Feel like feel like a power team. Do it. All right. Well, your sh your aim is absolutely shocking. Okay, fine. We'll leave it. No, it's it's hard. It's hard shooting at a moving target, moving up a hill as well. Is this the one? Have we stolen it? I think if people came for like five minutes yesterday and saw me raving about stealing um, a bolt thrower and I failed every time. And then they come back today and just see me and again I'm just still sat in the same province being like, come on, did we steal it? Like, We stole it! Amazing! That's the first time. It's the first time I've ever stolen off a high elf. I've stolen off a dark elf army before as high elves, but I've never stolen off... Um... Amazing! 
Well, sucks to be you, doesn't it? There you go, you've just got an eagle and some shitty dead, half dead infantry. Okay, fine. They can serve the tower. Mm, go here. Unworthy of and. Okay. He's undoubtedly going to go for blood swamps. Um, so she can pro she's probably okay to stay where she is. Um, right, we've got enough influence now. Let's look at heroes. Oh, Lawmaster, yes, please. Um, I really want an entrepreneur major as well. But I think a Lawmaster would be more useful to have in her army ASAP. Yeah, what I'll do... Okay. Probably not going to get the time to recruit Sisters of Avalon. Let's just get... Yeah, let's just get some more standard troops. And what we'll do is we'll get um, a Lawmaster to go and embed in that army as well. So Exhilarated. Melee... Okay, Melee Defense for Phoenixes. That's not a bad trait. It's just a bit all over the place. And she would get Guardian, which is 15% physical resist for nearby lords and heroes. Yeah, neither of these are very... Uh, I'm not I'm not that taken on these. I might just go for one of the 10 Winds of Magic ones. Um, See, so I might get this guy. I might get Dorian. And then that would allow me to get a Mage as well. So let's go for the uh, an Entrepreneur, if that's the only one. Okay, no, I'd prefer to have one with shadows, but she's shadows, though. Ah, fuck it. You know what? We'll go for high. I never use high magic. Let's just check it out. Okay, cool. Right, so there we go. So we've got, like, 16 units counting the characters, although the mage is going to be a, pretty much a non-unit. And it's Gorok again. He'll take Blood Swamps. We might have to fight him with a garrison somewhere. Let's try and get Fuming Serpent upgraded. Because worst case scenario, then I just need to bring Teclis back, um, just at full speed. What if he were to attack her? Oh, she he wouldn't be able to, no. She'd be able to back. He can't he can't make the attack. Okay, fine. Right. Oh, it sucks about Blood Swamps, but, you know, it's one of those things. So let's just go through these skill-ups. So Ilona... He's got Bowmaster. Let's have a look at this. I know there's one that gives you... Is it Isha? Yeah, leadership for rangers and archers and spearmen, upkeep reduction and casualty replenishment rate. You know what, we'll take that. Yeah, that's going to help. And give her... Yeah, bound chain lightning. That would help as well. And this handmaiden here can... Yeah, just get her on a, get her on a horse. They're so good being able to move forwards and just poke. Okay, right, my Lawmaster then. So what I really need is a tank. We've got magic sorted out in this army. Um, take speed of Assyrian and take three points in hard to hit. Yep, nice. And finally the mage then. So let's get Lilith's Blessing. Oh, it's not high, it's Heavens. Yeah, Heavens is even better. That's really good. Yeah, I could put her on a horse straight away. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's going to be... Yeah, okay. Um, Curse of the Midnight Wind is actually a really good debuff. And I think we're, we're kind of sorted on the uh, offensive magic front with um, Pendulum. Although Windblast is cheaper, isn't it? Thunderbolt's good against artillery pieces. Yeah, fighting Lizardmen, you know. Let's go, for, let's go for Curse of the Midnight Wind. And there might be a casting item I can give her straight away. Okay, yeah, the Vorta. Oh, if we lose though, it's gonna be that's gonna be rubbish if we lost that. Um, okay, yeah, just I'll give her a grey one. It might it, it might be some situational use for it, and yeah, we'll just ignore that. And uh, okay, let's move on. Yeah, that army doesn't bother me too much. It's, a, it's like skink, skink apocalypse, isn't it? Um, with a couple of salamanders thrown in for good measure. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, we've got to get wolves back on Fuming Serpent. Um, he's likely to go there first.
And we're about to have a rebellion here. Um, okay, right. Come back and set an ambush. Or move here and set an ambush to allow him a clear path to get, get towards Fuming Serpent. Or just stand next to it, yeah, and like brazenly. Obviously, we won't ambush. Yeah, do that, do that. And um, so I've got to get her up to... I'd really love to get some sisters. We could start the recruitment. See what he does. Because he might go towards the Awakening. Yeah, we, 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 we don't... Yeah, we don't have the time. We'll get another Spears. We'll just, we'll just get the basic stuff. Yeah, okay. One more time. Right, so... Come out onto the water. Can you attack Mangrove Coast this turn? Yeah, okay. Alright, fine. Okay, um... Yeah, let's just pillage, pillage a little bit as we go. I don't know if I'll hang on to these properly yet. Um, but, yeah, the Blessed Dread are destroyed. Oh, God. when It's only turn 61, but when Chaos start coming in, it, things will get very ropey very quickly. Now, I, I won't build these up yet, so it's likely that... Um, let's have a look at Diplomacy. Yeah, it must be Clan Pestilence at um, Oixel and Marks of the Old Ones. But I'm going to have to make a decision in a moment as to whether I bring Teclis back to help deal with this. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Alright, Dorian, you in bed straight in there. This mage, I don't know if it... Mm. Curse the Midnight Wind is actually... it's good. Yeah, it is good on, say, a big pocket of melee troops. Yeah, and she can get... let's have a look. Get another point in replenishment. Fine. So we're ignoring that. Taudin. He's got everything that's going to be... Yeah, just just get more armor. He's got his leadership buffed up. Get him the final point in armor, and then finally we'll start working on his melee stats. Okay, and Teclis. Yes, Flames of the Phoenix. Absolutely, that's amazing. Okay, good. So, I've just got to work out what to do with the rest of his, because I really should go down and get all of this. And then neglect his army and not go down the red line. That might be what I'd do. Yeah, and then with a final point or two. So how many points is that? It's going to be eight, isn't it, I think? Yeah, so eight, nine, ten. And then that would give me one more point for, say, either Glamour of Hoeth or the Master of the Order. Yeah, I think that's an, that's an okay way to level him. Yeah, okay, that's fine. She's immortal now. That's a nice one. Okay, yeah, I can't do anything about that right now. So yeah, let's move on. Ooh, see, it's really just we just got to see what Gorok does. He's the big, the big threat at the moment. Okay, I mean he's on the water in a stupid stance, so yeah, whatever. Right. No, he's not on the water. I thought he was on the water. Okay, fine. Okay, well, she's in the perfect place. Set an ambush. Yeah, and with... Um, I mean, start... We've just got some basic troops there. Um, let's look at... Yeah, I can't get any regiments of renown, obviously, because I've used them quite recently. And I'm not concerned about that. It would suck to lose it, but yeah, let's just see. Are they allied with each other? No. Um, okay. Alright, fine. Yeah, it's it's Noctilus himself as well. So the big decision is what to do about this. Right, I need to go and search. Could search Marks of the Old... I think we go for Oryxel first. Yeah, okay, so let's get... Probably get the Handmaiden. So just go and have a look and see what's here. 
Right, nobody. And does it have? Yeah, it does have chain sentry beasts. Okay, so it's got it's got um, warp bombs and stuff, and a big garrison. But it's fine. Yeah, I mean, let's go in and let's move to take it next turn, and hopefully they won't put an army there. Because if we take it quickly, we wouldn't. We know that the rebellion's going to be there. I'd love to build up the gold at um, Oixor just because it's going to get. As long as it's around, for two turns after it's built, so it's like a five turn return on investment. Oh, that's quite a long time though, isn't it, considering they could have an army there and just come and take this. Now we'll leave it for now. Yeah, we'll leave it. For now. She's moved. Okay, it's maybe just a skill up or two. Um, yeah, she can take final point and replenish troops. And yeah, let's just check. Oh, nobody knew. Alright, fine. Yeah, let's go for it. We ambushed him. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah, good. Their lives for coin. Yeah, take the money. Okay, great. No, that's that's brilliant. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah, you see, there's a, there's some Skaven. So she's the new warden of the uh, whatever I, these. Well, what are these called? I don't even know. Volcanic Islands. Uh, the Volcanic Islands and the Vampire Coast. That's a that's her official job title. Oh, she's got yeah. Okay, she's defeated Gorok as well. Nice, and she's practically replenished. Um, I reckon they'll go for the Blood Swamps and try and take it off. So yeah, okay. Let's let's see. I'm not concerned about that, but I don't know about sallying out to meet it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so he's got two Necrofexes. He could be on a Necrofex as well. Hmm. I've got an Eagle and Silver Helms that could take the cannon offline. I think we could do it. It's just their big stuff that um, is going to be, yeah, problematic. Nah, we'll, we'll leave it for now. Because if they make the attack, we can definitely win. Unless it's a really... Yeah, well, we'll see about the settlement design, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Alright, come over here. We want them to come ashore and take Blood Swamps, if, they, if that's what they're going to go for. Or if they come for Fuming Serpent, fine as well. Um, so yeah, stay there. And Teclis is going to go for... Oixel and just knock out there. I really hope I've got the movement for it. Is that scroll? No. Okay, we've got the we've got the movement for it. Yeah, fine. So stay there for a moment. Just embed the handmaiden back in. Okay, good. Yeah, let's do this. So it's just those um, warp bombs, menace belows, that we need to deal with. And yeah, we've got the safe space. Safe space. We've got like the and um, the dead zone over here where only that one tower can maybe see us, uh, which is cool. They will have yeah, they've got upgraded towers, so we need to get those down, that one tower down as quickly as possible. Um. Yeah, we don't need to gamble that. Right, so yeah, artillery. Got to get that that done. Just got to get in range as well. Okay, yeah, I think they they're just about in range now. Okay, fine. Um, right, you guys, we just got to spread out. Everybody got to spread out. So yeah, fine. They can go there. They can go there, they can go there. Turn off fire at will for absolutely everybody. And what we got left? Right, we got lions. Put them here. 
Handmaiden tank the tower if they do actually occupy it. Yeah, we've got healing in the army. Um, and she can go on here. Um, Teclis and the other flyers can go here yeah, just to deal with any menace below and stuff. But yeah, keep them, keep them central. Okay, fine. Take off Fire at War for her as well. And yeah, just move her. They don't often occupy the tower. Um, so right, start shooting and then it's just the menace below then. There we go. Okay, number one. Right, get out of there. We don't need to do any more damage than that. We don't want them to... Or, in fact, you can actually bait them to um, to blow it up if you do chase these units off. Because um, then you know at least you're not going to have to deal with an explosion for, like, one menace below afterwards. Okay, tower's down. Right, bust a hole in the wall. Nah, come back. Come back, okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Come back. Right, here's the next one. Okay, just get in there. It did take a little bit of damage on the crew. Let's pop down a heal. They're about to break. They're coming back, which is quite funny. No, they've gone. Okay, they've gone. Yeah, they terror routed. Um, which is what I wanted. Yeah, just need them out of there. Okay, they're back, they're back. That's annoying. Yeah, okay, just we just need to break them. We have taken a bit of yeah, a bit of damage to every artillery, um, which sucks, but Yeah, back onto this one. They've already terror routed and they're about to break properly as well. Uh, which is good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so they haven't. No, none has got low enough yet to blow up. Which is pretty good. Right, okay, and should be the last one. It's got to be careful here, because if they run backwards through this, right, yeah, get away from there. Right, and get off. Yeah, get off there. Let's get out of there. Yeah, and then they should run off the edge of the map. Fine, okay, I think that's it. Yep, you're gone, you're gone. Not quite. They might rally, but then they'll disappear quite soon after. Okay, fine. I think that's it. Okay, so now the real fun, fun can begin. Um, right, what have we got here? They could try and start shooting at the Rat Ogres. <clears throat> and then we've got Teclis, we've got the Noble, who've both got Fireballs. And let's move up, and my Eagle... Noble kind of partnership. Just go over here. We can go and try and take out the artillery. Okay, cool. Now, actually, with this settlement, and it's kind of cool, um, if you put your characters... Oh, shit. We'll do the fireballs first. Yeah, tell your characters to go here. And then try to go up there, say. And he'll fly up really high, and you get elevation from the... Um, so obviously this guy hasn't quite done it. Yeah, you get elevation for your fireballs and stuff. So they do a lot more damage. Um, so, if I do a fireball from up there, provided he's got a decent line of sight, and it hits... 
Yeah, because it might not hit. Okay, it's definitely more damage than it would have done if it was just like a glancing blow or something. Um, but I've seen fireballs do a hell of a lot more damage than that from up here. So yeah, and he can do the same. Um, Techless, yeah, come back a... Come back a little way. Oh, and you, you've gone too far as well. Okay, so we're doing some stuff there, right, and we can just start, um, yeah, popping down. Uh, yeah, just pop down um, a chain lightning there. Right, so Noble try and do one. Hopefully he's got... Oh, it just hit, yeah, they're on the... It's really fiddly to try and get them in the right place. You kind of need to tell them to come forwards a little bit as well. Yeah, that, that was poo. Okay, this should be good. Yeah, this should be good for both of them. Okay, fine. We just need to use them up. Awakening of the Woods is actually quite good here as well. Um, wow, are they shooting? Oh my god, okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, well, good for you. And fireball this guy to oblivion. Yeah, he's got his potion of Troy and he doesn't have that many more. Um, okay, right, we could use these. I don't know if it would destroy the gate. I'm not sure. Yeah, damage 50%. Although it did say gate damage 0%, so I'm, I'm, no, I'm never sure about that. Anyway, yeah, get on this guy again. Look at the damage it does. It's good against single characters. Um, pop his um, potion of Troy. Just so he gets a bit of healing. If they're gonna waste their if they're gonna well they're not wasting because they are actually hitting him, but like it's not he's not taking a lot of damage from it. Right now the other thing we can do is of course um, yeah pop down a Flames of the Phoenix here. Yeah, nice, okay, cool. And um, put down another one of those. Lol, that poor guy. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, not been the best cast so far, but. Right, he's out of fireballs. Teclis has got one left. Where's our man? Oh, he's moving though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's out of there. Okay, cool. Right, come back now, Teclis, because you do need you do need a heal. Right, so let's chuck a regrowth onto uh, yeah on Teclis. Uh, he's got his potions as well. Yeah, you can pop one of those down. Oh, here we go. Oh no, they're on the wall. Fine, the Eagles might have taken a shot over there. Okay, good, so let's carry on using up the magic. Um, don't think that'll break a hole in the wall. Oh, it did! Okay, yeah, I stand corrected. Yeah, oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, okay, yeah, good stuff. And I where to see the Flames of the Phoenix, because I think through the Plague Monks would actually be pretty decent. If they don't move, as long as they say stay still. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, 421 kills. Um, what we got here? We've got Clam Rats, we've got Storm Vermin. Got Storm Vermin. Um, let's, they're, they're in a nice box. Yeah, let's put that down there. Yeah, it wasn't the best cast, but... Right, fine. Anyway, Noble. Right, you guys... Yeah, Eagle Crew go over there. So we'll start shooting with the archers soon as well. Uh, yeah, do that. I think. Right, fine. Okay, so archers. Yeah, come on. Um, I, c 
could just I don't need to be so meticulous with this like we've, um, we've done so much work with magic so far let's just turn on fire at will with them and let them yeah do their thing Yeah, okay, good. Um, got Poison Wing Globes coming in there. Got stuff going up on the... Uh, yeah, so that will hit the troops at top as well. Yeah, okay, good. Um, pop this down. The other thing is Awakening of the Woods will actually be decent against um, like Scaver Slave Slingers and stuff. Uh, so I could bring her forwards as well. And yeah, so my uh, my eagle crew. I expect there's going to be gutter runners back there. Well, in fact, I can. Oh, I can see Skaven slave slingers. They just come off their. Did they use it all up? I don't know. Or if they just decided that they don't like that artillery life. I don't know. Yeah, doing awakening of the woods here. So poison ring globes there. Yeah, it didn't do a lot of damage though. All right, move up. Um. Yeah, let's try this. Go on, let's go in there. Yeah, okay, here's the gutter runner slingers. Right, push through onto them. They rat ogres. Yeah, fine, okay, right, leave. Yeah, just get out of there. We did a good amount of damage there. Just back off. Just for the time being. Yeah, come on, keep on going. Take to the air, my pretties. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go on, get off the ground. Right, okay, good. Fine, yeah, just get over here for now. Oh, it's that army loss as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Nice one. So I don't think we took 27 casualties. Who is that then? Must have been the... Oh, it was probably from the Menace Belows, yeah. But at least they didn't get a warp bomb off. Okay, nice. Yeah, so we are we are expanding. Um, we'll try and secure the rest of this province, but we'll have a look at what's going on in Subatoon as well. Because um, yeah, I'll search the I'll search the ruins and just have a look to see if there's like an army sat there or something. Okay, right. So it's a nice amount of money for sure. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, we got the omen. Okay. Omen and the Fireborn, okay, so we've got... Yeah, we'll lose Chupiotl to this army. Um, so from what I can tell then... So they've just got two settlements, three set They've got four settlements, okay, so it's likely to be, by the looks of it, and what I can see on the map, they've actually taken Itza, which is hilarious. Um, so they've got Marks of the Old Ones, they've got Itza, they've got Subatune, and they've probably got Mine of the Bearded Skull. Yeah, I think that that's probably what they've what they've done here. So right, let's look at this. Yeah, we don't need horses. Uh, we don't need that either. Um, we'll repair the money building. Gonna have a rebellion here this turn. So yeah, we won't repair that. And we'll definitely get walls on it straight away. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's good. And we'll see what that army does and whether we go for. Subatoon, or yeah, or just go for that army and then go for marks. I think we might do that. Okay, fine. Right, so Taldin, you can get yeah, a final point into your armor. And she, what level does she need to be taught to unlock these? Yeah, le level 12, so she's nearly there. So yeah, fine. Um, just go for hard to hit. Right, now. I'm waiting here on. I had already moved with her, that's right. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we're waiting to see what happens with this mess up here. Um, fine. Okay, good. So yeah, we can we can move on then. Um, so my Archmage, 
definitely want her on a Moon Dragon eventually, and I don't want to waste skill points. I think I'll just leave her on foot for now. And let's go down... Alright, she's got Pendulum. That's kind of what I wanted her to have. Um, so let's go down and get... Yeah, let's get... Um, go down here and get to um, Upkeep Reduction. So yeah, we're running. We've got 20, about 22 turns worth of money right now. Well, 21 to 22 turns. So we're doing okay. And this handmaiden, her handmaiden, can get, yeah, um, Speed of Assyrian. Yeah, Speed of Assyrian is actually good because it does give you a little bit of melee defense as well. And the Lawmaster here can get, yeah, just whatever. Um, yeah, point in his leadership, fine. Okay, we're ignoring this. So, fine, yeah, cool. And Teclis. Uh, I think we're just going to start going down, yeah, going down here then. Yeah, and get down to Manifold Sorcery. So rebellion happening here. Good. Okay. Yeah. And have we met anybody new? Nope. So yeah, cool. Let's go. It's pretty strong. Like we're reasonably strong with two fairly strong armies. And yeah, so he's probably got at least three armies, I would have thought. Yeah, so if they take Chippiotl, at least I know where one of them is. Okay, fine. Alright, he raised it. I mean, makes no sense, but fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let's have a let's have a look what we do here then. Um, we'll use the army to take out the rebellion. Really don't need money. Let's just take that replenishment. Um, okay. Right now, somebody, maybe the handmaiden, can go and search Subatine. They're almost certainly here. Yeah, and they've got an army in there as well. Alright, so if we have the movement, we'll go and deal with that this turn as well. So she can just get, yeah, a point in cleanse corruption. Okay, fine. I think we can make that. And also, this will serve as a warning system for when they come back. Um, I don't really want to fight this. Ah, that was okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Could just suck it. Now we'll loot and occupy it. But we're not planning on holding on to this for the time being at least. We're just gonna use it as I say, like as a war an early warning system for when they're coming back in this direction to take to go for a week's So now what I can do is go for yeah, Chupa Yotel and Marks of the old ones with Techlis. And then possibly loop around. They've taken Axolotl as well. Itza has got Itza have got really fucked. Like they've only got the blood swamps now. Yeah, okay. Alright. Um, yeah, fine. Okay. But yeah, I've got a plan in place. Down here, I think if we just go for... Does that give capacity for handmaidens as well? Yes, it does. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, okay. We'll get the handmaiden building down here. And let's go for... So we want to try and get some more nobles as well. Yeah, let's get the noble building too. Not going to be long before it rebels again, so maybe should, I could repair that just to help hold it off. Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Yeah, fine. Okay, all right. I feel bad for Gora, but yeah, we've got a job to do. Um, so we'll take Blood Swamps, and then I think the biggest threat here, yeah, is going to be that um, Vampire Coast Army out on the water. They cannot. Yeah, just occupy it. Oh, there's Tehenuin. Okay, alright, cool. Well, yeah, that's... Um, it'll be fine. I could throw a Regiment of Renown in there. The Omen of Assyrian. It seems like a bit of overkill. But yeah, fine, okay. I don't want this army to get wiped out. Um, so, yeah, right, let's have a look. Take uh, yeah, Cleanse Corruption. 
So, lizard men are up here as well. They've disbanded some units from this army. So I don't know if they're bankrupt or what, but that's a bit weird. Yeah, they, this was like, I think it was 15 or 16 units a few turns ago. Or was it? Maybe I'm getting confused. Anyway though, if I sallied out now... Yeah, saying our odds are worse. If we fight this, then Tehenuin will besiege. The Rebellion, I don't know what the Rebellion would do, but if it attacked a Henuin, that would be awesome. <laughs> I think it will just stand there and raid for a while. Yeah, we're not in any hurry. We're not in any hurry. I mean, like, the longer that one faction besieges here, then it's denying other factions and the Rebellion the chance to besiege. But I think this is the biggest threat right now. Um, and I'm just at the point I can get walls built up here. So let's do it. Maybe that army will turn around or go somewhere else, we'll see. Yeah, I won't build anything up there yet. If I can just get two turns, I can at least get the start of the garrison building on it. And the other thing I could do, I've got 25k in the bank, is raise a third army and just put... That seems a little bit... That's going to tank my money so quickly, though. Yeah, okay, alright, cool. I think we're good for this turn. So what to do with her diplomacy? Hmm. <laughs> Hit points and guardian and entangles good, but I think I'll just go for hawkish precision. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and research. Um, yeah, it's just just go for that. Whatever. Um, fine. Blood swamps. Uh, no, I, I I don't know if I'll ever get this built up. Uh, let's have a look at those rights then. That becomes available in 10 turns. This would give public order everywhere, or that would just give me more magic generally. I suppose we are having a lot of fights over the coming turns. So that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's going to buff up my um, yeah winds of magic. Subatoon, let's get rid of that. And let's get, yeah, let's just strip it and just leave it there with uh, nothing in the settlement. Fine. Right, which of these to get first then? So the weakness to fire damage will affect Flames of the Phoenix, but only Flames of the Phoenix, I think. Metal shifting is okay. Roiling Skies is good. Life Bloom is good. Uh, life Leeching is good. Improve Both of these are really good, actually, for your... Um... Yeah, I think it's these four. It's Roiling Skies, Life Bloom, Life Leeching, and Wild at Heart. I'll take first. That will slow down the uh, you know the opposition a little bit. That obviously heals everyone, and these two buff my winds of magic. Um, let's go for life bloom first. And Orillon. Yeah, just get scouting. Okay, fine. Um, another unassigned skill point. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what do I want with him first then? He's got 54 melee attack. I'll just get weapon strength, yeah, fine. Okay, and if we've not met anybody new, yeah, we can move on. Okay, rest in peace, Itza. I've actually not, I can't remember the last campaign where, um, yeah, okay, alright, we'll have to fight this. Yeah, okay. The winds of magic guide us. So they got two Scar Vets and a Lodosaurus, basically, and a couple of Chameleon Skinks. Okay, right, yeah, it's nice and nice and flat here. Um, yeah, we'll deploy here. We do have like some really chaffy little garrison troops as well. Um, Cool, yeah, okay, uh, right, so it's a lot of Saurus, we're going to want to do three rows of archers. archers. Um, so yeah, these guys just come there, just something something like this, it's not an exact science. Um, they're, 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 they're almost certainly going to break through my front lines is the issue. These guys can move forward to just delay uh, anything that comes in. And then these guys, yeah, I don't think they haven't got any like cold ones or anything. So we'll just if we just space these out, 
problem is that when they break, they're all going to break at the same time. So um, Lawmaster will tank as well. Heaven's Mage won't tank, but if we can get a nice blob of them, she can cast Curse of the Midnight Wind. And yeah, she can stay there, and the Handmaiden could end up tanking over here. I'll just put her there for now. I'll put her here, in fact, because doesn't she buff up? What does she actually do when she's not got any talents? Okay, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so there's no reason to have her by the artillery, so she can just stay there. Okay, cool. Right, let, let's uh, give this a bash. We could lose. Like, yeah, there's a lot of Saurus, and we, we're not too, normal archers aren't particularly good at taking them out. Okay, to Hennewin's to Hennewin, on his rat, sir. One of the cold, one of the Saurus Scarvets. I can't really see. I think he's on foot. Yeah. Anyway, what is um, what is he on his raptor? Is he anything? Yeah, he's not anti-large, so that's fine. Come over here. I'm just trying to mess them around a bit. Just don't want to take too much damage in the process. Was okay, yeah. Did about did come in did about fifteen percent damage to that to that one unit of Saurus there. I was really looking for an opportunity to try and get a charge on um, to Henowin. Oh yeah, that's wrong. Um, put you into that. I can even just slow them down on one side, so like feign some charges and stuff. Chameleons have like so much ammo. Yeah, okay, cool, right. Yeah, so there. We slowed them down a little bit there. All the chameleon skinks are in one place at least. Yeah, come back over here. Like I say, just trying to slow them down a little bit to give my artists time to actually do the work. That's okay. Yeah, come on out of there. It gets their attention. Look, I mean, that unit's just moved over. And Tehenowin's going through them as well. Oh, okay, pull back now, I think. So we're going to start getting some... Um... Yeah, let's go for a chain lightning in there. Yeah, sorry, lads. And... Yeah, we've got um, throw some fireballs. Right now, um, it's not the best at that end, but it's done quite. It's done a decent amount of work there. Okay, good. Yeah, fine. Okay. Um, Omen of Assyrian come and pop down a, um, a decent Ember Storm on this big blob. He needs to get in there. And she can pop down a Curse of the Midnight Wind on all of this. Could have done that a little bit sooner. And then I think, yeah, oh, there's some spears in here. Um, yeah, there's going to be spears everywhere, though. Yeah, fine, okay. Um, we can nearly do another um, pendulum. Okay, I think it's just going to be best through there. We're not going to be able to get the other unit as well. Pop down a chain lightning there. Uh, yeah, now this is this is going pretty well. Yeah, this is going really well. In fact, that chain lightning that that couldn't have asked for a better path. Get the omen out of there. Yeah, because they are going to pull back now. They are going to break through. She might have to go in and tank. Yeah, omen's over here as well. 
Oh yeah, Bane Shield. Yeah, pop that down too. Yeah, and the artillery shooting at the Skink skirmishes and stuff isn't really bad at all. Um, Curse of the Midnight Wind would be okay there. Yeah, okay, let's do that. That has used up a lot of my uh, Winds of Magic, though. I'll right, try and pull her back. Omen of Assyrian can do um, another of its um, attacks in a, in a few moments. just don't want any of these heroes to get killed, that's all. So I'll probably go and do it over there. Come on, Tehtenuin's nearly dead. Oh, get take off. Come on. Take off, I need you. I need you here right now. Yeah, that's army losses. Okay. Oh, if it just happened a little bit later. Let's try and just pop this down still. Pop it down. No, they're going to go that way. Fine. Yeah, okay. It is what it is. Fireball to Henuin. Um, I'll get the Omen of Assyrian to go after him. Did you do it? Are you having problems here? Yeah, he's nearly dead. Yeah, we'll go get the Omen of Assyrian to go for it. Okay, fine. Oh, wow, he uh, got a bit messed up, but at least he's alive. And yeah, just try and try and run down some more Saurus Warriors. Yeah, that went okay. Well, um, my Spearman might not agree. But yeah, one oh nine kills for her. Um, yeah, we did we did all right. Yeah, we did all right. Considering we were fighting Saurus as well. And they're tough as like tough as old nuts. Or tough as old boots. I think that might be the saying. Yeah, this this gives um is it omen of hope immune to psychology around it as well, which is superb. I mean if there'd been dinos in that army it would have been really it would have been even more helpful. Go on, eat, eat a few more Saurus, go on. Ah, oh, they're going to leave now. Yeah, okay, that's fine. If the other cult of Sotek army moves down towards um, Blood Swamps, I'll retreat with this army back to the Vol Volcanic Isles. Take a little bit of replenishment. Oh, hello, Fat Slam. Who just happens to be sitting right there? Okay, yeah. I mean, it's all it's all on. Yeah, they're going for this. I. Yeah. It looks incredibly messy here, but it's not. If that makes sense. It's not that bad. Okay, what did the rebellion just suicide on? Did it actually fight? Lol. Okay, all right. Well, if they make that attack and they don't break off, then they're stupid. Um. Yeah. Okay. So right. Let's let's see here. So yeah, she can get another point in wary. Uh, she can get yeah, spearmaster. Fine. And then here, right, yeah, he can get, um, yeah, just get Foe Seeker and uh, Missile Resist. And lastly, yeah, she can get Roiling Skies. Okay, fine. Okay. So, yeah, right, let's see what's in here. Oh. What is this bullshit? All right, I want to take that out first. We'll fight it because I don't want to take more casualties than necessary. 
actually killed one of the Scar veterans. I didn't even see that happen. Yeah, it feels bad for these guys, but... I mean, they attacked me. Okay, yeah, um, right, we've got some rocks here. We don't need to protect our flanks so particularly. Um, yeah, let's just deploy. Let's just deploy here. Um, bolt thrower. Characters. Spears, if they do even need to be involved in the fight. Um, and yeah, so Archmage... Of a mage, and I think that's everyone. Yep, yeah. start deployment, start battle. Uh, what are we doing? She can go forwards and start poking at them. Yeah, let's just speed this up. Alright, there's the chameleons. Let's mess them around. Yeah, and that's going to be it. Yeah, okay. Fine, so they're gone. Now, hopefully, I've got enough movement to go and attack that. <laughs> what do you even call it? Batmon. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's an army of bats. Like. Oh. I understand he doesn't have a major settlement, but. Uh, yeah, take a little bit more replenishment. Okay, cool, that's gone. So I've got the movement to attack that army of bats. Although, let's just see, because we could sit here and we'd be a little bit closer for next turn. Yeah, we're inside, we can set an ambush here. And then, this army will back off. I think Tehenuin takes his go first, which is awesome, because that army, I mean, there's no way that, I can also resolve that now. I'm fairly... Yeah, look. Oh, he... Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, now to Henneman will be Siege. Alright, fine. Yeah, okay. That, that was a cock-up. Alright, Fuming Serpent, though. Yeah, we can get the walls back on it soon. And, okay, down here. So, yeah, they're obviously going for Mangrove Coast. Don't know where the Skaven went. Yeah, anyway, I'll put her back in the army now. And let's, uh, yeah, because if we force march down here, I'm fairly certain with the rivers to cross and stuff, the Skaven would underway over here. Um, so yeah, let's force march to there. Oixal is going to rebel in three turns. Is it? Yeah, 91, 97. Yeah, yeah, it's going to rebel. It's going to rebel in three turns. Blood swamps. How strong is Tehenuin? Yeah, okay, he's probably just got that one army there. It's done. Got to try and get Blood Swamps walled up. Yeah, okay, let's go for it. Let's try it. Um, and yeah, I'm ignoring that. And we just got, yeah, just got a skill up or two. So yeah, another point into Wary for her. And uh, Missile Resist for her would be okay. Um, but yeah, let's get hard to hit. Fine. And yeah, he can, she can get. So, oh, did she have two, did she? Take a point in cleanse corruption then. Fine, okay, we're good. Yep, let's uh, just check if we've met anybody. Nope. And uh, move on. The winds were with us. What you seek can never come to pass. I, I wish, honestly, but it's not in the nature of the campaign. Don't waste your breath. Your words nope. Move me. They will Replenishment from bats, that's a little bit dodge. Uh, whatever, whatever. Um, 
yeah, we we've mostly dealt with this situation. Um, it is surprising, really, considering I've got like one half battered secondary army. But yeah, fine. So we've got to deal with Tehenuin's army there, and then deal with um, Noxilus. Okay, so if I sallied out now, let's just see. If I sallied out now, we'd win that. Um, but I want to Henuin if possible. Sorry, well, the army, the Court of army, to actually come for Blood Swamps. So I'm going to do. I'm just. It's just sneaky, sneaky high up tactics, basically. Um, let's move to about here. We're almost replenished to full as well. Okay, now if they detect the ambush and attack me, I'm fairly certain that we'd be fine as well. Um, let's give her. Yeah, let's give her those. Right, let's have a look. Um, yeah, another point in hard to hit here. Um, he can get right what to get. Blade shield, yeah. He's a tank. He's literally a tank. Okay, and he's got two, has he? Oh, she's got two as well. Okay. Um, yeah, just take evasion and, uh, yeah, I guess go for... Actually, no, because we've already got a bound chain lightning at the moment. I think we just try and empower the... Uh, yeah, empower the Archmage and just get her some magic, more winds of magic. And this Handmaiden, yes, amazing, right, so go for go for range first. Now, I don't know where they went. Oh, they backed off, okay. Now, we can't be ambushed on the water, so... Let's just try and bait them out. Like, if they come to attack me, then they're not going to win. Um, and we'll build up the walls at um, Oixor. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Um, fine, I think uh, we're done. Oh, we're having, we're having a rebellion here again. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, we'll deal with it in due course. Yeah, and there's nobody new. Uh, so, fine, yeah, let's move on. Oh, okay, all right. Um, I mean, I can also resolve that, but oh god, it's got three terror guys in. Yeah, we'll also resolve that. We'll recruit some new spears. Um, if they attack straight away with the other army. I mean, what the hell? Okay, fine. Yeah, she she needs to. She should have time now actually to recruit some sisters, which is what I've been waiting for for about twenty turns. So let's just relieve the um, relieve the awakening. Oh, you're going to send someone over again soon, aren't you? Right, okay, fine. Yeah, so Noctilus backed off. I mean, he can't do anything. He can't do anything, that's the thing. Although he is taking, he is taking replenishment now. Let's try and see if we can catch him out. Yeah, try and see if we can catch him out, and if he stays there, we should be able to, yeah, pursue him next turn. Um, fine, right, so, yeah, she can get Lightning Strike, superb, okay, and Quartermaster. I love this right, like, she's getting, the the, uh, the mages get so much experience from it. Um, yeah, fine. Oh, no, 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 oh, I should have gone Replenish Troops. Yeah, it's cool, though. Yeah, and Lawmasters get so much experience from it as well. Um, yeah, just give him a point into his armor. Every time we have a battle, it's like two skill points. Um, am I going to overcast Curse of the Midnight Wind? I'm not sure. We'll take Earthing anyway, and yeah, take Chain Lightning. Comet got buffed in the most recent patch uh, that a lot of people don't seem to know. It's actually a really good bombardment now. Not that it was bad before, but it, it just noticeably does. <clears throat> A lot more damage. Okay, cool. Right, so Behold. they might their army might be sat here. Yeah, it is. 
and it's not in it. There is an army here. I'm not sure if that was the one from before. Yeah, fine. Let's take this back. Just occupy it this time. Yep, okay. And, uh, yeah, so we can get the... Um, yeah, get that built up. I will build this up because provided the... Yeah, if we're going to go for marks next, we've done this the right way, in fact. Yeah, they probably do have mine of the bearded school, but like I say, I've got Subatune to act as an early warning system when they come back. So if we go for marks and then I either come back down here to deal with the threat or go for Axolotl. And then we can push on to Itza. And then after that, yeah, we'll do this. We'll take the... Have I met the purple dinos yet? No. No, okay. Then obviously we'll work down here, take this, and then just work our way up and then just uh, fill out the interior. And yeah, that, I mean, that's the best... In 67 turns, that's like the, the best amount of land I've had. You know, this is Total War campaign, I think. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Where are we having a rebellion? Oh, so, oh shit, we'll lose that, won't we? Well, we'll see what I can do. I might try and fight it. Okay, cool. So go for yeah, go for Roiling Skies. Um, yeah, she can get the final point there. Let's ignore that. And yeah, we're ready to go. So cool. Okay. So are they going to try and attack that? It's got. Let's try and get walls on it. It's got a garrison in there, so they won't win. Um, yeah, let's just try and get this built up. They're not going. They won't be able to defeat that. I don't want to get coffee, but yeah, cool. Okay, yeah, let's move on. What are you going to do? Okay, nothing I can see. So if I go over land to mark to the old ones, um, and just try and sneak up on them, and I'll send the uh, handmaiden in to go and search it first. Uh, I said I was going to try and fight that, there's no point. Will they take it though? No, they'll just raise it, that's annoying, but still, I mean, we've got walls all week, so okay. Fine. Hey, always like cash. Strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, mighty lord. The wisest amongst them will know that okay. it is on your Good. side. Okay, right, so where can I get to? I can get to there. Um, come to about there then. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, she can't quite search it, but yeah, I'll just I'll send her out to go and um, do it next Gosh. turn. All right, he's backed off. Always, oh, no, that was him. He was here, wasn't he? So yeah, um, Noctilus has backed off entirely now. Um, yeah, fine, right. So I can whiz her back to try and deal with this rebellion. And um, blood swamps. How am I going to get a chance to get walls on it? <sighs> Let's build the first part. Yeah, okay. Magic in purest form. So Henryman is really not very strong right now. Um, so yeah, let's try and come come and deal with the Rebellion and then I'll move her back to Blood Swamps just until we can get that walled up. So yeah, fine, let's go for it. Um, and if she comes over the water... I don't know what's going to be quickest. Yeah, come to, come, to, come to Human Serpent over the water. Oh shit, she didn't get into the water. No, I fucked that up, never mind. Thought she was closer to the water there. Never mind. We'll still we'll still get there in another. It'll be the turn after next. So yeah, fine. And I'm ignoring this. All right, Teclis, get yeah, get um. Don't know which of these is um better. Well, we're just gonna get both of them. So okay. All right, cool. Yeah, fine. Okay, the ambush failed. How dare you seek me out. Uh, no. Is he just going to come back and try and besiege the Awakening again? Like, I think the AI is just having a very confused day today.
Okay, right. So. Oh, he's got a fault. Yeah. Oh, how did he get all those troops? For God's sake. Okay, well, is this just a bat? That might just be an army of bats. Right, we've got to, we've got to deal with things. Um, yeah, we've got to deal with threats as they arise. Right, he'll besiege there, and I mean, he won't be able to beat that, but yeah, let's see. So, I just need to get her. Doesn't need to do anything more than that. Yeah, um, just come down there. Or in fact, no, maybe if I do force march, but I'm just worried that they might make the attack on me. So yeah, we'll leave them alone. We'll just move to there. That's fine. And we can recruit. Yeah, that's what we can do. Fine. Um, so yeah, we'll get a couple of uh, a couple of spears. And yeah, she can start getting yeah a little point quartermaster. So fine. We're not really running at a loss right now. Well, we're barely running at a loss. I mean. Okay, there are armies in there. That's fine. So we'll have to do this without the handmaiden. We might have to fight it um, manually. That, that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. We haven't fought a battle in a few turns. Oh, I really don't need to fight that manually though. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Now we'll just we'll just take it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So we got we got this province with relatively little struggle. Um, so we'll go for. Do they have growth? Yeah, they do. They have growth. Just for the time being. Yeah, okay. And marks are the old ones. Yeah, they've got public order here. That's decent. They've got a growth building. I'll hang on to both of those. And uh, yeah, okay. So skill ups, right? Yeah, Bowmaster, and then I'm nearly going to get Orcish Precision. Techlist sits here for a couple of turns. Yeah, I can get. Um, right, how do I do this and what do I get rid of? I didn't want the regiments of renown anyway. I'll keep the eagle because he's been around since the start. Right, I'll keep three units there. I could get rid of the eagle. It's good to have something fast, yeah, but I mean, Teclis is... Uh, nah, we're, we're good. So, yeah, we're good like this. What I'll do is get rid of a unit of... Oh, do I get rid of a bolt thrower? Because I really don't need three of them. Yeah, let's get rid of a bolt thrower. Okay, fine. And then we're going to get three sisters of Avalon. And we could also get a new yeah, resistant handmaiden. That they're really good. Yeah, missile resistant melee defense for the whole army. So what could we do about the heroes though? Could always take the noble out and just have him go and start um Yeah, securing influence and stuff. But because I'm at war with everybody, like securing influence obviously is less of a priority. Yeah, we'll have two handmaidens in this army. I think I'll, what I'll probably do is just get rid of a unit of archers. So I could, I could do it now. I mean, there's a danger I will get attacked out of the fog of war, but uh, we'll, we'll hang on to it till next turn. Yeah, okay. Pestilential rodents abound. Okay. Um, yeah, fine. Uh, cool. Uh, Talden's Tal okay in this army, yeah. And uh, we'll get Wild Heart. Master of the White Tower. We've got so much magic, like with Teclis and all the. Yeah, I can't believe how much magic we've got. Um, start taking points in Shield of Thorns. That's cool. And yeah, let's just have a look at this right because that would give some influence, some construction cost reduction. Yeah, we'll do that too, and just a bit of a buffer for public order too. Uh, so yeah, cool. Right. Um, yeah, let's move on. Your words are nothing to me. Oh, whatever. Okay. Are they allied? Because that could actually be a problem. But we'll get back up there as quickly as possible. I wouldn't cry if we lost the Awakening, but I mean we've gained, yeah, we've managed to get all of this. That's been a really productive stream. And good fun as well, and definitely some sketchy moments. Alright. Uh okay. Alright, they came to attack me. I can always back off. Take flight. No, she's gonna attack me again. I shouldn't have backed off. Okay. I was just hoping that she might back off towards the, the settlement. Right, fine, yeah, let's do it. They cannot withstand high magic.
We can always steal the bolt thrower. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Um, there's an impassable. Where? Where is it? It's there. Okay. There's impassable terrain there. I don't. I don't. I'm not very familiar with this map. Um, we could naturally funnel them around this rock here if we were to deploy here. Um, but obviously the danger is we route straight off if things um, do route. I think we'll go for it. Yeah, we'll try and do that. Um, yeah, and then we'll get some really good opportunities for magic for um, yeah the chain lightning and stuff around this corner, hopefully. So yeah, fine. Um, we'll deploy properly in a moment then. So yeah, cool. Um, characters, yeah, just go here. Omen of Assyrian, just go there. Right, start deployment then. Uh, start battle. So, archers come out this way. Yeah, have the spears there. Have the um, have the handmaids in there for now. Um, Lawmaster can just go in the middle. She can stay here. Omen of Assyrian, now yeah, let's just go and poke at some stuff. So yeah, cool. Right, and then now if I do... Yeah, just do a checkerboard. So yeah, fine. Some, something like that. And put everything into guard modes. Right now, how what are the stats like on these eagles? Because it, does, it doesn't give an accurate picture. Yeah, 44, 33, 90. He's 57, yeah, okay, fine. I want to try and isolate the artillery. I I'm not actually trying to waste the ammo. I just want the artillery and some of the archers and stuff to stand still. Um, so let's speed it up. Yeah, when they're far enough away from their artillery, I'm just going to go around and take it out. Oh, yeah, the eagle thought about it, but then backed off. Right, they're far enough away now, yeah, okay. So yeah, just get get her up. Whoa. I mean, if an eagle's going to come after me, I'll fight it for sure. Just need to get far enough away from the archers. Right, so move forwards here. Um, Come up there. See how far we can get that eagle uh, to, to, to get away. Put down a chain lightning there. We could actually just put that straight through. Yeah, that was all right. Okay, cool. Yeah, go for that. I think the I think the eagle got bored. So their artillery managed to get through. Um, oh, miscast chance. Can't. I don't have the range for that. The Lawmaster over a little bit. Do have Curse of the Midnight Wind, and we could have done the Chain Lightning as well. Yeah, if we put a Chain Lightning there onto those Loth and Sea Guard. Right, he should charge in there. She should just come back, actually. Yeah, they're going to get around. Um, might need her to go and tank. Handmaiden focus on that, too. Yeah, pop down a Curse of the Midnight Wind here. That's just going to nullify their uh, melee attack and stuff. Omen's doing its thing. Well, we might break over here. Um, you know, we don't have much in the wind, way of winds. We do have another chain lightning, though. Right, okay. Yeah, that's all right. Um, right, try and throw a fireball. Oh, you've got a bit keen. Come back. There's an eagle there. You know what? Let's just back off now. Yeah, let's come out of there. Yeah, just get away from it. Hopefully before it's, it's able to land. Yeah, they're, 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 we've won this uh, quite easily. What the hell is this? Oh, it's an eagle. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, fine. Go, go and hit it, everybody. Um, use the Amber Trance in a moment as well. 
Yeah, use the Amber Trance now. That should uh, break it. Yeah, they just get. I look at it. It's just, it's just carnage. I mean, the spears have got royally messed up, but apart from that, it's absolutely fine. What does this do? Bane shields. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's army losses, and we haven't wiped out the artillery, so um, we'll get a second shot to steal it. People think I'm obsessed with, but. Yeah, fine. See if the Omen can take out their general, or at least at least get a couple of attacks off. Oh, yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, it's going okay. We managed to take most of um, the province where the Dark Elves were. Well, we've taken, we've taken the full province. Um, yeah, it's going okay. Yeah, it's it's been it's been a good one. This has. Yeah, fine. Let's leave it there. Yeah, that was nice. Um, I didn't use the Omen's uh, flame attacks because I, I sent it to go after the artillery. Um, that could have helped speed up some of these melee engagements, but yeah, it's all right. Yeah, take the replenishment and uh, fine. We didn't steal the artillery piece, so disappointing. All right, cool. Okay, yeah, so let's have a look. Oh, an Age of Discovery, shit, I'm going to have to go to war with everybody. Oh my god, okay, this is where the campaign gets fun. It's not that bad. Oh shit, I'm going to go to war with all the High Elves, so. Yeah, fine, I knew I knew that was coming, it's turn 70, isn't it? Alright, deal with this. Assyrian, take them. Yep, shame about you, never mind. Their <clears throat> existence threatens all. Destiny lies there. Right, good, okay, and um, oh, I've got another Book of Hoeth. Oh, no, I think that's our first Book of Hoeth. Okay, fine. All right, she's immortal now. I know she's got, like, what she got? Ridiculed. Yeah, it's it's fine. Yeah, so we've taken we've taken all of this um, with, with Techless, and I've just used her to protect everything else. So we wiped out its... Uh, um, Pretty much wiped out to Henoin. He's, he's he's he might have an army there, but like he doesn't have much strength. And we're trying to get walls. We're just going to try and wall up the blood swamps. Um, so she just needs to recruit. Yeah, get a couple of spears just to fill up the army. Um, and yeah, let's just look at these a sec. See, so yeah, fine. Get foe seeker there, and uh, oh, I should have got replenishment. Never mind. And yeah, he can get Student of Hoeth, and I think just, yeah, full plate armor. And she can go for Comet now, I think. No, we'll get um, get Missile Resistance first. I'm never going to use Harmonic Convergence. In fact, no, get Missile Resistance and the second point in Chain Lightning. Fine, okay, good. Right, so this, Handmaid both of these Handmaidens are... Embedding back in here. I stand with you. If I can actually click on this one. Oh, is that full? Yeah, I need to get rid of an archer. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay, so Techless has got some sisters incoming. Um, yeah, they, they, they've... they um, He had no troops. And then suddenly he just came back, like a turn later, with all of this. So he must have raised dead and just had access to all of this stuff. But it's bullshit, isn't it? Stupid cheating AI. Yeah, I like I like sisters. Yeah, they're good. Okay, fine. So that's gonna be the end of that turn. I'm actually gonna have to end the stream here. I'm um, coming up to yeah about three hours now, but I will be yeah I'll be carrying it on tomorrow. So maybe catch you over the weekend, mate. Um, and uh, yeah, similar time. Yeah. So this is, I'm six hours in now, turn seventy, and uh, yeah, it's it's going pretty well, I'd say. Uh, so it, we what well, before I go though, hang on, I'll declare war on everyone. Because otherwise I'll forget. The shadows come. 
The day wanes. Are you prepared? CF fine. Rip. I am a threat to Everest, and I'm about to declare war on you. In my yeah, Teclis went to the jungle and went crazy and just uh, decided to declare war on his brother and everyone. Oh yeah, that's what the campaign is. Yeah, the turn you meet any faction, you have to declare war on them. So I'm at war with everybody that I know. Yeah, and um, Clan Scryer and Tilia. Once I was tall like you. Okay, yeah, so there we go. So we're still at, we're at war with everybody. Um, and yeah, we're ready to go for tomorrow's stream now. So yeah, let's... Um, so the immediate threat is going to be dealing with that. And then I'll go and try and take Xanuapate with this army. And uh, yeah, carry on taking Lustria with Teclis. And let's just hope that the High Elves don't literally send about 20 armies down here. Because in about 20 turns, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have um, Chaos to deal with, of course. So I really need to try and get everything walled up on the coast. Ah, uh, but yeah, fine. Yeah, it's, it's going well. So yeah, uh, cheers for the follow, dude. And um, if you haven't followed me already, anyone else, then yeah, chuck me a follow and I'll carry this on over the weekend. So yeah, cheers and take it easy.